All right. <clears throat> I, uh, I think we're ready to go. Looks like everything is up and running. Let's switch it over here. Hey, guys, how's it going? Good morning. Are you guys ready for some more Resident Evil? Because I know I am. How y'all doing this morning? Hope y'all are doing all right. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Maybe I'm, I, don't know. I don't know what's going on. Video and everything seem to be up and running and running okay. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to mess around with a few things here really quick. Nope, yeah, it's good. All right. Where are you at? Where are you at? There's my Leon disc. Jam you in there, don't you know? Hooray! Everything seems to be under control. All right, so this is going to be our Resident Evil 2 stream of Leon B. We're going to go through the whole thing in one stream, so hopefully I don't fuck it up too hard. Um, I, th I feel like this is probably the best scenario in uh, uh, Resident Evil 2. Um, outside of maybe Hunk, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this is what we're doing. Yay! I'm excited. My cables are all tangled up and it makes me sad. I wish I had some way to manage cables, like long cable management, not, you know, actual cable management or something. I don't know. Shut up! Alright, so let's, uh, let's go. So the only way to access the B scenarios, um... Uh, for each character, Claire or Leon, is to beat the game, beat the A scenario of the opposite character. So if I'd played Claire or Leon A, I would get Claire B, and the story's different for each one. Um, if you guys really like Resident Evil, I guess at some other point in the future I could do. Uh, in the midst I could of do the Leon A and Claire B. In Raccoon uh, City. That might be Claire something Redfield to do at some point. succeeded in escaping from the city, along with one of the only other survivors. Hopefully, the audio levels are a right. A young girl named Sherry. Yeah. However, behind their escape was the lone survivor. Shit. Raccoon City Police Department. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Leon S. Kennedy. Leon S. Kennedy. Total badass. Actually, it's kind of insane how much of a badass he is and how much of this game he spends just yelling at these people. Why won't people listen to me? Um. Ah, delicious. Leon de facto has more health um, and gets better weapons um, and has a better companion than Claire. Claire is like the worst uh, person, people, person. I don't know. We Shut up. Here? Um, Claire is 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 not as fun to play uh, as as Leon. I think. Um, however, I think Claire has more interesting gameplay based on the weapons she gets. Because everything Leon gets. Why bite me? Why he bite me? Everything Leon gets is just a bigger gun. You know, there's no flame rounds, no acid rounds, no weird bow gun mechanics. So Claire's gameplay is more interesting, uh, but Leon, Leon is like a fucking easy what mode for this game. This? Make sure my chat is up. What are yep. these? Seems to be working. All right. Sorry, I had to double check, and every right. time I go away from the actual Don't game move. capture, it, uh, you know, kind of fucks move. up, and the audio cuts out, so there won't be much no. more of that. <laughs> hey, you're dead. You're dead! What's up with that guy? That was a clean hit. So, Leon, fresh out of the police academy, 
shows up, and the first thing he does is shoot crowds of people. Wait, I mean, granted, they're zombies, now. but like... What did they train him to do? Okay, you're gonna run into these neighborhoods, Head to the and you're just gonna shoot anybody who doesn't listen to you. So I really like the I really like the way these games or the A and B scenarios are set up because they change the puzzles around. They do a lot of remixing and stuff, which makes it more interesting for like repeat playthroughs. Um, item locations are different. Um, enemies are harder. There's new enemies, new bosses. Um, I feel like the way the game is set up is for Claire A and Leon B. First day on the Yo, what's up, Tyrant? Name's Leon. Um, nice to meet you. Yeah, I feel like this game is set up for Claire A and Leon B, um, and you're gonna see some stuff I didn't. I'll point it out when I get to it. Uh, some stuff I did in Claire A that will affect Leon B. Uh, there's a there's a, a couple things um, that changes the way the second scenario goes, uh, depending on what you do in the first, which I think is cool. Better take it with you. Ah, delicious. Um. I like the dual scenario thing. I really think I think it's one of the only times they ever implemented it in any game I can think of, the zapping system. You okay? And I think it's one of my favorite Still like one piece. you know, video game things. Hey, that maniac's gonna ram us. So he went zombified at some point, driving his truck, and managed to drive it perfectly fine all the way into the city towards Claire. you know people Leon. Leon. Okay. head to the station I'll meet you there okay yeah so you also visit different locations in uh, in the B scenarios so um, we're not gonna start in the same place and we're not gonna run into a creepy pedo gun store owner dude So here, first difference, uh, Leon right away gets a pistol with 18 rounds in it. Let's go. Salmon, omelet, rice. Woo! Oh, Jesus! Oh, tap, tap! There we go. Salmon, omelet, and rice. Sounds good. I had, I had an apple and two cups of coffee for breakfast. Okay, I've activated that asshole. I need to go over there. So I'm gonna get bait these guys out. Oh man, I'm so happy to be back playing Resident Evil. I'm so happy, ooh. Man, we've got the cabin key. So there's puzzle one down. Can you walk into this room? Shit. Yeah, 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 you can all suck my ass. I got jukes for days, yeah, yeah. -y. I'm like the Harlem Globetrotters, bitch. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so excited. Hey, Tyrant, who was that friend of yours that uh, that showed up in the stream the other day? I was uh, excited to see people were inviting their friends to come watch my dumb bullshit. Oh, shit. What will happen if I open that door again? Probably something real bad. Okay, so notice the valve handle was over here, or the valve itself was over here before. Now it's not. Yeah, po 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 pony. Why why was I having trouble saying pony? A pretty groovy guy. Oh no, it's that thing I did last time too. I better run away. Oh, I never have to come back here, so it's totally fine. Ha 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 ha. Woo! You ain't shit. You ain't shit. Suck my fucking dick, cause you ain't shit. Oh wow, one of them got me! Let's see, am I already hurt? Am I already dying? So I've already gone through all those damn zombies. <gasps> Look at this! New cutscene! Yeah! Look at this shit! Hey! Get over here! Hurry! I can't set her down! That looks all fat. Oh, yeah. Typical donut cop! Where did they come from? 
Also, is he missing an arm? No, he can't be missing an arm because he's now firing with the arm that looked like it was missing. Why is your friend somebody who only tunes into specific streams? Maybe they're stalking you. <laughs> Well, that's bad. All right. Uh, okay, there's nothing I can do here right now. Let's go in here. I believe the first thing I have to do is go downstairs. It's 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 been a while since I played this one too. Let's grab that. I should probably save that for later. It's not too important right now. Step one is gonna be Okay, there's crows. No, no, no. There we go. This is what I wanted. And that'll give me a couple invincibility frames to get past these assholes. All right, we're going out one way or the other because I don't want to have to deal with them damn crows. Son of a bitch crows. No, he didn't do anything weird. I'm just being goofy, and I was also curious because, I don't know. I don't normally get many people for my streams, so when people start recognizing each other in my chat, I'm like, whoa, that's kind of cool, you guys. All right, what do you got? You got more handgun bullets. All right, we're gonna clear this out. Let's go where we can actually see some of them. Here we go. So they throw more zombies at you, among other things. I should run out of ammo here. You guys will get to see a reload ammunition. Ammunition reload animation here soon, okay. So those guys are taken care of. There's the valve handle we need. I am not going to go use that now. Mention my replay. Replayed through. Oh, that's the word you're saying. Well, thank you for telling people about me. I appreciate the interest. Oh, you're dead. I wasted a bullet there. Okay, so that's why I haven't fired a round up until now, because we needed to clear out that fucking mess. Look at that! Combin! Alright, more ammo. And if I remember, here's something I didn't do before. Usually there's an herb back here. Just hiding. I'm gonna grab this one just because, um, I can. Um... And I'm going to be needing... I'm going to be desperately needing access to a... Oops. I fucked that up. I'm going to be desperately needing access to a box here soon. Same combination as in the first game. We've got our shotgun shells. And we've got a map. Which, once again, we'll never look at. Yay! It makes me happy that my streams make people happy. Let's spread around the happiness. Spread it all over our faces. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right. It's time to go back upstairs. There's a very specific reason I'm not going to use that valve handle right now. Um, yeah. Um, I'm not going to mention what it is. You probably know what it is. Like, you specifically probably know why I'm not using that. Oh, this was a bad call. Because of that! Woo! Fucking liquors. Hey, look at that. More pistol ammo. This is awesome. Just dumping stuff on us. Yeah, with what I have right now, there's... I'm not... I'm not touching... I'm not touching that as is. And we're leaving it at that. We'll leave it at that. No, I'm trying to get that. Okay. Secretary's Diary A. April 6th. I accidentally moved one of the stone statues in the second floor and I leaned against it. We've read this already, so we don't need to read it again. I'm not going to die. Oh, no, I need to get rid of some stuff first. Um, I'm not going to save yet. Uh, one, because I don't need to. Two, because I don't need to. So I'll just drop this stuff off. Get rid of this fucking knife. And continue on. Normally, I don't think I go this way. Normally, I think I go around the other way, but I'm glad I'm going this way now. Um, uh, because, one, this is the way to get to the first uh, uh, thing. Words that I can't think of. This is the way to get to the first uh, 
uh, puzzle thing. And also, normally I go downstairs first and uh, have problems. Luckily here, I'm not having problems. Snickerdoodles, oh my god! And I think we're doing alright on these Zambambas. Oh, I shot the guy on the other side of him. These guys are not proving to be much... Uh, oh shit! Run it, shit! Oh, I fucked up. I didn't realize there was another guy there. Did his arm come off? His arm totally came off. Okay. Now that I've taken a couple bites to the face. Look at this. This is not where that unicorn medal was before. It was in the star's office. Steak and noodles, nice. I can't go in here yet. Yep. I need to go... I need to get a key card to go downstairs. But in the meantime, I can grab this key. It totally came off. You could see the you could see the bone sticking out of the bicep at the end. Is the key card just right here? That would be awesome. What's that? Oh, there's a shotgun right here. See, I don't remember any of this shit, but this is, this is the best. This is the greatest. Because I still need to do the, I still need to do the car key, card key thing. Um, so I shouldn't be able to do anything down here. Um, I don't think I can talk to David over here. Yep. Because uh, what's her face has already talked to David. But since I have that unicorn medal, I can come over here and get the first key. An old fountain. Something is written here to obtain the key to open your heart. I'll wait for the unicorn, the beautiful beast. Y'all remember that time in, uh, uh, the original Sailor Moon where a fucking nine-year-old girl fucked a unicorn? I remember that. Tofu! Arrgh. Poseidon Tyrant! <laughs> Goddamn tofu shit got, got dig, diggle dang on dangin' it. <laughs> oh, it's fun. Everybody's having fun. Okay. So that's why we went down there. Um, I forgot the shotgun was there. I thought the shotgun was in a, a different place, but that's, uh, that's very good for me. I need to pick up this key. Uh, it's very important for later. Um, so uh, Leon has a lighter, top right up there, key item, instead of a lockpick which means that um, Leon doesn't have access to all of those small locks that, uh, that Claire did. Uh, Leon needs to do extra shit for those. I'm gonna drop this off for now. I'm gonna grab these shotgun shells and then we're gonna go make a mistake. Um, yeah, so, so one of Leon's game mechanics is, is not having enough of those keys. that both of them? That was two of them. Look at that. This shotgun is amazing. Play Silent Hill at some point. I have Silent Hill. I suck at it. I really like two. I really want to play two, but the version I have is not good. Um, otherwise, I would totally play the absolute bejesus out of all of that. Dude, this shotgun is so stupid. Ah! I'm being raped by the birds! No! <laughs> yeah, Leon's weapons are overpowered. <clears throat> they are absolutely 100%. I didn't bring the fucking valve fucking handle. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right. Well, here's our first kind of major fuck up. Wow, those birds were like stopping me in place. June 14th through 29th. Any specific reason why you would want me to stream it at that point? Seems 
like a very specific time frame. There we go. Combin! Also, if y'all think Leon is over er, is overpowered now, just wait until about halfway through the game. Actually, just wait until probably about 20 minutes from now. Oh, cool. I get to be your entertainment for vacation. How nice. I'm here for your amusement. You fucking asshole birds. How dare you, all of you. Sons of bitches. Fucking kill all your families. I know, I'm just being a bastard. Use. So obviously they have to reuse some of the puzzles here for the, uh, for the things. Um, I don't have any space to grab the thing out of there I need. Oh, I'm an idiot. Wait a minute, it's just pistol rounds, isn't it? Or shotgun shells, perfect. That's actually perfect. For some reason, I was thinking there was a, a different item in there I would have to grab. <gasps> what is this? Oh my god! It's all different and new, holy shit. Actually, they changed up the second playthrough very well. Very the best. Oh my god, he came through the ceiling, what the hell? It's Arnold Schwarzenharkner. Or something. <laughs> oh shit! Oh! This building's falling apart! Oh, do you hear that? Oh shit! gonna stand here and just unload. Shit! I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. No. Oh, hey, the reload actually went through. That's good. Shit. There we go. And that was it. So that's Mr. T or... What is his name? His name is... Oh, Mr. X. That's his name. Um, and yeah, that was that. Mr. T. <laughs> it's Mr. T. I pity the fool who don't be a zombie. He's been pecked to death. All right, so doing that opened up this uh, hallway over here. Um, and that's where we're going next. <laughs> Called him Mr. T. Oh no! Mr. X terrified the ever-living bejesus fuck out of me as a kid. Like, holy shit. Like, just this primal fear of, here's a dude! It's a fucking dude! How terrifying is that? I think that's incredibly terrifying, because that's the first time you fight, like, a dude, you know? Don't you know? Uh, no ink ribbon. For some reason, I always thought there was shotgun rounds floating around in this room somewhere. All right, so over here, we get the blue card key. And now we're done in this room. Ah! Oh! oh, Jesus Christ. Why are we terrified? We've already killed one. We had to kill one to get into this room. Uh-oh, I'm being duded in the chat. Why are you duding me? All right, so now that we have that, we can go unlock those doors and start working our way through the whole building. Her, her beer dear. All right. So I'm pretty sure I can put this away for now. I'm probably completely wrong, 
and I'm gonna regret it, but that's okay. Did I grab the, yes, I did grab the key I need. So I've got a key and I've got a card key. Which is important. Should probably equip my pistol. There we go. Now let's go do some hacking. What's a Kotatsu? Kotatsu is Japanese for sword. There we go. Jam the buttons through this. So yeah, they reuse a lot of the stuff, uh, a lot of the puzzles and everything, but just the fact that you... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just the fact that uh, all the item placement is remixed means that you go through the building in a completely different way. Uh, which I think is really cool. Low to the ground wooden heater table. Oh, that's cool. I bet that feels I bet that feels really nice. It's slightly cool in my home right now. Should probably Oh shit! So look at this. Just fucking Zambambus everywhere. Nope. I can't hit him from here. Here? No? There. Isn't this cool? I love this crap. Combin! You're still alive. see. Okay. We'll grab this file. Police memorandum. Okay, this is the same thing we read. We'll get a few different, uh, or new different files here. Uh, soon. So, I, I will read the new ones. And I'll probably end up reading the later ones anyways, just because I, I won't remember whether or not we, uh, read them or not. Hey, look at that. You hear that? That thing I put in as Claire in the first playthrough is still here. Isn't that fucking awesome? The head is missing. <laughs> will I take the uh, gun bullets? Yes, I shall. I've used the precinct key. The key is useless now. Discard. Bam. N64. Oh my god. That's cool. I haven't played an N64 as well. I used to have a very specific way to play N64. Um, you know, but yeah. Hey, look at this. All that's in here is a health potion. Yes, I said potion. You can eat my ass. I'm pretty sure that's all that's in here. There's a file somewhere around here. We go patrol report. I didn't read this in the first one. No, it's all good. Um, Neil Carlson. <laughs> Neil Carl Robert Johnson. <laughs> we received a report of a suspicious individual skulking around the sewers in the outskirts of Raccoon City. I searched the area and located the individual, but he ran away before I was able to question him. I recovered the following items. A small amount of C4 plastic explosives, an electronic detonator, uh, 9mm rounds, and a broken infrared scope. End of report. Hey, more people are here at the stream. Hi, you guys. How you doing? I hope you're... I, I hope you enjoyed the stream. <laughs> Alright, cool. So having that up there will... Do I have the space? I do, because I'm about to go to a save room. So I'm gonna grab the shit out of everything I can here. Um... The fuck was I going with that? I don't remember. I don't remember what the fuck I was talking about. I don't remember none of this shit. OH SHIT! OH FUCK! OH BOD! NO BALLS! Ah, oh, RUN AWAY! BAIL! BAIL! This is no bad! So how cool is that? In the first scenario, you just had arms come through. This time, you get the actual motherfucking dudes come through. Uh, chronologically... Uh, chronologically, this is supposed to be happening... This stuff is supposed to be happening, I think, like, 30 minutes after the first one. Uh, hey, look, another report. I don't remember seeing that report before. Let's take a look and see. Operation report. The Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies, many more. You know what? I do think I read this one. Yep, I've read that one. Woohoo! 
I know for a fact there's, like, a uh, pistol round somewhere in this room. In that out room out there. See? Remember when I was looking uh, for that with, uh, with Claire? Dare, don't you know? Alright. So now that Leon has a lighter, he doesn't need to waste inventory space Oop. Uh, grabbing this thing. He can just run in and commit arson. Arson! There we go, and we've got this piece. Um, I'm a lot more familiar. I'm not entirely familiar with Leon B, but I'm a lot more familiar with Leon's um, general game flow. Um, especially toward the end, so I'm not really worried about... Uh, I wonder if we're going to get more jumping out of that. Nope, that's right. We're past all that now. Uh, so I feel like this one's going to go a lot smoother than Claire's did. Uh, hopefully, anyways. Oh, pfft. I was expecting tons of dudes out here, because that's what we had to deal with last time. How much space I got? I got space for one. Pick it up. See, now I'm going to do a super sick strat, so there's one extra one out there, and I'm trying to always have one herb on me, right? So I'm going to be super cool and super smart, and go over here, and I'm going to drop off everything I have. Except that key, that key important. Uh, let's see what we got, what we got, what we got. That's everything we need. I'm not worried about that shotgun right now. Cool. All right, let's see. I believe we read... I know we read this one. Create upon a plan to escape through the sewer. Yep, we read that one. Um, I didn't show it off the last time, but over in this room is a... Uh, it's a, a red room for... Or a dark room or whatever the fuck it's called for developing film. Um, so you would get various types of, uh, film throughout the game, and you would go there to expose the film, um, and take the time out of your day in the middle of a zombie apocalypse to do that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Which is dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Let's see, let's head up this way, we'll grab that second thing, and we'll continue our loop around. Um, I think I'm going to go to the statue room uh, with these uh, red bits after going through this side of the police station. You find one photo of Rebecca. It's slightly creepy because Wesker's like, oh, 18 year olds. Oh. Sorry I didn't use my British Wesker accent for that. Let's jam all this over here. I feel like that's a uniquely Japanese thing, like the creepy, skeezy, like, boss who's, like, skeezing on all the little girls in the office. I'm probably completely wrong, and that just probably applies to everything everywhere, but... What are you gonna do? It's my headcanon. You can't stop it. Ugh. I like my headcanon. My head cannon is the best. In my head cannon, Mako cross Gamagori totally happened. And for those of you who know what I'm talking about, I think you'll appreciate that. Oh shit. Yeah. Lay into them Zambambas. Combin. Gamagori. In the... Oh, I'm going to use this guy to show off Leon's uh, kill animation. Hopefully I don't take a hit from it, but... If I do, I think we'll be alright. Wow, those guys took a lot. So watch this. Leon just... Steps on the fucking head and destroys it. Oh, damn! I took damage. Damn it! Oh, well. No big deal. It's also no big deal that I'm going through all these bullets, because I get more bullets than could ever possibly be used. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go into the star's office first. Oop. Star's office. Star's office. Come on. Open the door. There we go. Here we go. Um, so, I get a magnum right away. It's kind of a big fucking deal. Looks like a rookie's desk. So that's Rebecca Chambers' desk. Um, I forgot to point this out last time. Chris's desk, Jill's desk, you can tell because of her little beret on the desk there. And then over here, 
is Barry's desk. It appears to be a replica of a gun. The owner is probably a member of the NRA. <laughs> Pretty funny. Okay, uh, let's do the thing we came in here to do. Besides grabbing the magnum there. <laughs> desk is unorganized, reflects the owner's personality. So Chris is an asshole. Um, if you would like details on how and why Chris is a giant fucking asshole, check out the Resident Evil 5 LP that's currently ongoing on our YouTube channel in the link below. Chris's diary. August 8th. I talked to the chief today once again. We read this as Claire. The desk is un disorganized and untidy. So that's all there is. We only came in here for the, uh, the shoot bang. Shoot bang. Yeah, that's, that's, that's where I wanted to go with that. All right. We're going to come through here and we're going to grab the single most important early game item for Leon. A little girl! <laughs> hey! Wait! <laughs> he sounded really invested. Hey! Hi, wait! Hang on! Ah, oh, she dropped something. What did she drop? She dropped a precinct key! Ermagerd! Perkamern! I don't know what I'm doing. Leon! Leon! Claire! So she Ray. just had had the key. Yeah. So she was solving the puzzles the too. Girl around here? It's kind of badass. Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? I don't know. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. I always Leon, thought her silly ponytail her. kind of looked like a raccoon tail. Like she's got like of a course. raccoon tail but hanging off forget, the back of her head. A radio. How do you guys feel about raccoon that hair? Touch, single twin tail college waifu senpai? What I'll shut up? You go and find us a way out of here. I'll find us a way out of here. So I like how she tells him to find us a way out of I'll there. Go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. And then, and then after we, she sends us to find us a way out of here. Um, she's like, "No, fuck it. I'm going through the sewers. Catch up, you dumbass." All right, more shotgun shells. So Leon is already drowning in the three weapons he gets, because uh, he only gets three weapons. Um. <laughs> I don't need to... Eat. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, and tons of ammo for that. The desk is locked. We'll use the small key. This is the single most important early game item for Leon. And it also shows you Leon's fucking game hook, which is he gets to customize his fucking weapons. Combin! So look at this. H&K VP70 Burst. A VP70 with a stock holster. Capable of firing three round automatic bursts. Um, so yeah, Leon gets a fucking automatic handgun right away. And you'll get to see me use it later. Um, but all of Leon's weapons um, get upgraded at some point. So, let's see, I've still got two spaces in my inventory. Which is fucking awesome, right? I always thought that was the coolest shit when I was a kid. Alright. Uh-oh. We've come through here, and we're fine here. Oh no! That's right! It breaks anyways. Shit! I wonder if I hadn't gone this way if this had happened. So they get through there, um, but they don't get through on the other side, which means that now, because uh, Claire used the thing there, that hallway we're never going to have to go through again is filled with zombies. Um, uh, but Leon can get in. Oh my god! Um... But Leon can get in and out of the uh, the basement area without having to deal with additional zombies. Power switch to the shelf while you push it. Um, which I thought was really cool because you could use it in two places. You could use that at the... Uh, you could use that at the... Sorry, I have to concentrate to press buttons for some reason. Probably because I'm getting old. Um, you could use that at the at the entrance to the basement or that hallway there. So you use it in the first scenario there, even though you never have to go through there. But then it stops the zombies from coming through the 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 the, the other hallway later. All right. So bishop plug. Here's the second thing that we have to deal with with Leon here. Um, hi, Dragon Spike thirteen. Nice of you to come hang out. And yes. I agree with you that the handgun is cool as shit. And yeah, it's honestly, you don't need to use it full auto. 
I've been running around without health because I used my health the one time. Actually, that worked out pretty well because now I've got a full complement of shit and I can go to the other side and drop it all off. Let's see. No enemies here yet. We've got the diamond key. We've got the stuff to get a different plug and we've got one of the plugs already. So, um, Leon never runs into the police chief, which I think is a shame because I think that would have been cool to see. Uh, but Leon never runs into the police chief and he gets in and out of the sewers because he still does go through the sewers, but he gets in and out of them through a completely different uh, means, uh, which is interesting. In fact, he never even gets over to where uh, the chief's office is. Actually, no, I think he does later, uh, if I remember correctly. I probably don't remember correctly, and we're going to drop off this magnum. You know what? We're going to organize everything. Shit. There we go. Uh, I didn't grab a healing item. Whoops. So we'll grab that too. Perfect. And now we can continue on. Um, and yeah, that's the cool thing. So, uh, you can switch it between auto and manual, and the auto fire is a three round burst that you can kind of let go of the thing and not fire three rounds with. Uh, but if you switch it to manual, you just get a much faster firing handgun of the same amount of power. I don't think the power gets upgraded. Um, but I'll switch between it and use it. Uh, that custom handgun gets a lot of play in this game, uh, even towards the end of the game. Although, usually by the time I get to the end of the game, I have so much ammo for the shotgun and the magnum that I just stop using the pistol. And the shotgun and the magnums, uh, uh, customizations, because you do get customizations for both of those, is so fucking cool. All right, here we go. Did the same old puzzle again. Did I just see? Hang on. No, I didn't. Okay. I thought I saw another thing of shotgun ammunition in here, which for some reason I always thought there was shotgun ammo in here. I guess I was wrong. Or maybe Leon A has it. That might be it. When I was a kid, I played Leon A a lot, just because I didn't want to play through Claire's stuff. All right, so we've got another plug here. And we have the diamond key, so our next stop is going to be downstairs. So we'll go drop off that plug and head down to the second floor of the east, or the first floor of the east wing, excuse me. Oop, come on, come on. There we go. I feel like this second, uh, the second one is a lot quieter um, uh, than the first one because the first one I feel like you're running into enemies at like a at like a pretty decent clip but in this one it's more uh, uh, you run into big groups of enemies and granted there were a couple rooms with big groups of enemies in the uh, in the first scenario but I don't think it's the same as this one So we're going to head across and down this way. You know what? I'm going to switch this to full auto for uh, an upcoming room because we're going to run into a room that will be a bit of uh, a bit of trouble here, I think, uh, for me with the amount of ammo that I have. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. And yeah, I will grab all of those herbs eventually or some of those herbs. I won't need them. Um, at least I, I'm hoping I won't need them. What are you stuck on? Oh, you're stuck on the desk. I really liked uh, how much detail they could drop into these pre-rendered backgrounds. Um, you know, since it's just a photo. Uh, this room sucks. There we go. Perfect. So two, ra er, two bursts from each of these will usually kill. Damn it, I fucked that one up. Let's see. Glad I decided to comp in here. I think. Nope, there's one left. Is it that guy? There we go. Okay, so we're almost at it. Shit! There was the last one! No! Oh. No, I'm running low on ammo. Actually, I'm doing just fine. Come on. Come on. Come on, you little bitch. Right, you're dead. There we go. Room solved with only one little bite. You guys enjoying the stream? I hope you are. Um, shit might go sour, considering the fact that I only have 
two fucking... or 16 rounds left in this thing. We're gonna switch it back to manual. I don't think there's zombies in this room like there were before, because they throw more of them at you in the previous room. All right, we're gonna open this up. This is the diamond key. I don't remember. All right, what's over here? We've got another one of the plugs. All right, and we've got a first aid spray. Ah, shit, why did that one get me? Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh! Oh! Totally fucking got me. All right. I'm interested in the handgun ammo that's in this room, right? Come on, grab that, son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm good. I'm interested in the handgun ammo that's in this room, but if there is a liquor in here, I'm just turning around and leaving. There's two! Look at that! Fuck that! <laughs> Where's the other diamond key for? It's not over here. Do you guys remember where the other diamond uh, keyhole is? Because I know there was that room, and it's actually necessary for uh, Leon in this LP. But I don't, for the life of me, remember where the second one is. You know what? I'm gonna look at the map here. All right, so we don't have access to that one room. We don't have access to the basement yet because the basement takes the heart key. Let's see. Oh yeah, we gotta go over to the other the other wing. That's right. Okay. Cool. We figured it out. Problem solver room. Yes, I will use the herb mix. Good. We've got a mixed herb here. Things are going well. I think Poseidon Tyrant died. Or is it eating? Are you dead? Bro, are you dead? We're gonna go around. <laughs> We're gonna go all the way upstairs to avoid all them Zambambos in that hallway. Because I do not have the ammunition for that. I knew! I knew it! I knew you were eating. Delicious salmon. Nella, I don't know. Shut up. No liquors yet? Eventually, this entire thing gets filled with liquors. They're gonna lick ya! You know what? I'm gonna grab the, uh, the shotgun when I come through here, too. Um. Because <sighs> uh, I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna have to go through that same fuck room where I started wasting grenade rounds as Claire here now, now that I remember what the hell I'm doing. Um. Yeah, so I'm gonna grab the shotgun for that one. The shotgun has a really important function for regular enemies um, that I'm sure everybody watching knows, but I won't spoil until I show it off. Um, what fuck was that? I don't know. Anyways, I'm sure everybody knows what it is, but for those people who don't know, I'm gonna show it off and you're gonna, it's gonna give you a hard, oh, fuck me! Shit! I'm not prepared! Shit! Shit! So what's up, bad call? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna use the shotgun in that room. I got diddled so hard, bro. You don't even know, bro. Right, grab that. Grab the shotgun. Do I have any other shotgun? Floating around. I don't think I do. In the meantime, we can drop off the bishop thing. And yeah, I think we're good. So we'll heal up really quick. That could have gone very poorly. I also expected that to be an auto, but I forgot. Bro, bro, you don't even bro. No, bro, bro, bro. Alright. Oh wow, they uh, actually got me down really far. I should have used the uh, the mixed herb because uh, two greens didn't do it. Wow. There we go. 
Oh, I should drop off that first aid as well. Damn it! That room got me legit shook. Alright, so let's go in here. Alright. So there's something very important with the shotgun. First of all, you can aim up and down, and there's only one reason you would ever aim up with the shotgun. And that's to blow people's fucking heads off. Look at that. It's so useful! Yes! You're idiots! Kneel before me! Kneel before me in all your headless glory! Yes! I own you now! Alright, you're down. You the last one. You know, I probably should have just avoided those guys, because I'll never come through this room again. That was probably a massive waste of ammunition, but you know what? It was fun. Is keys useless now? Discard? Absolutely. And nobody's in here. So all the zombies moved. I will not take the film. At least I didn't have to blow through this room, I guess, but, you know, whatever. Shut up. All right, we've got more shotgun shells. The lock is broken and can't be opened. If I had a lock pick, I unlocked it. All right, so now we're in the David room. David! And look, it's full of bros. I don't know why I'm still using the shotgun here. The fact that it just knocks these dudes down is, like, really good. And I'm out. Kind of a waste. Damn it. I was hoping to get both, but I didn't want to get my fucking face bitten off. Alright, I know there's more ammo in here. Notice they've also been throwing more, um... Combin! They've been throwing more uh, shotgun ammo at me than pistol ammo. Hey, buddy. Hi. How you doing, big guy? How you doing? You having trouble getting around that couch in there? It's okay, buddy. We all have our bad days. It's okay. Hey, what happened, buddy? You all right, buddy? Hey, buddy, buddy. We now have the heart key, so we now have access to the basement. Um, I think Leon has less problems with dags. Um, here, we'll read this one again since it's Leon. He's going to feel all sad. Congratulations on your assignment to the Raccoon City Police Department, bro. Bro, we look forward to having you as a part of our team and promise to take good care of you, bra. From all the guys. Aw, all the guys are fucking dead. Yeah. We're a sad Leon. Way, way, way. Alright. Let's keep on keeping on this away. Past all the stuff we blew up. I have not, I have not, like, except for the very beginning... I have not avoided a single zombie. I've destroyed all of them, uh, which is not my usual playstyle. If we're being perfectly honest here. All right, so notice Leon is already in the basement. Um, kind of a big deal. All right, this key's useless now. Discard. Why do I have a blue crown? You have a blue crown because you have Twitch Prime. At least that's why I has blue crown. We're going to grab this because we'll be able to drop it off here shortly, actually. I don't really need that key for anything. Uh, there will be some things I can unlock later. Um, I can't remember. Is there ammo over here? There's not ammo over there, and this is a club door. Okay. Let's go down in the basement. Common. All right. I think we might not have to deal with dogs. I'm listening. There's nothing. Why the fuck is there nothing? Something's wrong. I don't like nothing. 
There should be something and there's nothing, goddammit. I'm scared. I'm scared and alone. I'm scared of nothing. Hey, look, guys. It's the same power thing again. Up. Down. Up. It would be funny if they changed this around. Up. And down. <whistles> Make you think, oh, I got this. And then you get in and it's like, I don't fucking know what this damn thing is. Let's see, we got a map again. I can't wait for that card key. Um, you remember the card key opens the thing to the armory and there's a thing in the armory we gonna grab. If you remember last time, it was that fucking machine gun. But this time it is not that. Also, I think Leon has to open a manhole cover somewhere around here at some point, if I remember correctly. But first things first, let's go into this part. Ah! It's a woman! Look at her being a woman Sorry. over there. When I saw the uniform, I thought you were another zombie. <laughs> Who are you? The way he asks is really funny. Ada Wong. Oh my god! What are you doing here? I'm looking yeah, for Ada, she's the, the best. Um, Ada was in the first game, um, in the original Resident Evil, uh, only, she was only mentioned, though, she was mentioned as the girlfriend and, like, like, she was an employee of Umbrella and she was mentioned as the girlfriend of, of one of the, uh, one of the, the, the dude bros that ran the lab in the first game. Give me a hand here, will you? And in this one, she gets to be all cool and hang out with us. Uh, I think there's ammo around here somewhere. There's herb over here. I'm pretty sure in the back of one of the cars there's ammo. I could be wrong. I vaguely remember there... I don't think it was this spot right here. I think that's what it was. Alright, look at how strong we are. So either Leon's a total fucking beast or Ada is. Or they're both half beast. Half man, half beast. They make pretty beast babies. So this is another reason Leon's playthrough is superior, because you get followed around by Ada, and Ada has a gun. Sherry ain't got no goddamn gun. Which is garbage. Poo babby garbage. Blech. And she Ada, just fucks wait. off. No, it's all Ada. Leon's a baby, lol. Have you seen the Plague of Gripes thing? For Lee, for, for the thing? Lock appears to be open. I don't have to worry about that right now. Let me go to the other room and drop off some stuff. Some stuff. I'm pretty sure there's a a thing in here. No way, bag. That shit's funny. Oh no, not the dogs. Fuck these dogs. Nope. <laughs> Is this cruel? Is this cruel? I'm waiting until they're up in the air. <laughs> yeah! You're a dead dog. Oop. Wasting ammo here. <laughs> Low key just murdering dogs. There we go. My final dog solution has been accomplished. I am Leon, destroyer of dog. Hey look, a manhole cover. Might be able to open it with the right tool. Well, Leon, you're a bit of a tool, so you know. Just jam your head in there. Just, just jam, jam it in, just, just do that. It's not weird, I'm not being weird. Shut up. All right, so there's some film on the table there. We're not even gonna bother with that. Not even going bother. Is there anything in here? There's herbs. A blue herb. And a green herb. Cool. Is that how what works? I'm confused. Oh, how you jam it in? Sure, I guess. Whatever. Hey, look, it's a man. Let me guess. You must be Ben, 
right? Get Am I teaching you now. about the world right now? This is how PETA works. What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. I'm, I'm sorry. Look at this asshole. Also, where did she is go? This we explored guy? this entire area and she suddenly ben, shows up behind us. You told the city officials that It's like she was hiding under a table like, hey, that asshole on, Leon. Didn't you? What did you tell them? <laughs> and who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that It's interesting that she just name drops John. He was one of the T-Virus researchers. And even if I did? Well, yeah! I tell you. Should not expand Dong, okay, but it I does. Leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? Who are I you asking? Right here, officer. Oh. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. He might be the best voice actor in this whole game. What was that? Ah! Oh. That was Arnold Schwarzenharker like getting said, gains, bro. I'm not leaving this cell. Them fucking gains. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. Oh no. What? Look, if you want to live, you haven't you're seen another human being me. probably in days being locked but up in there with your you power bars or whatever the fuck the you're eating. It looks like you only have There's smokes a in the back of the building. and a bad hair Inside cut the style. Is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead a you to dirty, the shitty entrance, shirt. What have you been eating? It won't be X don't give it to you. Oh no. All right. I'm oh, going. we're not turning this into an X cast. I know I'm stupid. I'm stupid. You're stupid. We're all stupid. Okay, I've got to go back to the kennels. Uh, we're gonna combine this combin, and then we're gonna use that. I have had that key as dead weight in my fucking thing forever now. All right, so we got that. Now we're gonna head to fuck out. We are stupid. We are stupid together on the stream. We are streaming stupid real hard. All right, so there's a reason I, I there's a reason I put those dogs down like old Yeller. <laughs> um, and that's because if you don't, they'll come out and fuck you up in this room. You can actually kind of avoid them. Um, uh, but I would rather be safe than sorry. There we go. We've opened the thing. Do I still have the pistol equipped? Uh, we're going to switch to this for now. Will you go down the ladder? Yes. I feel like Leon's A and B are both shorter than uh, Claire's A or B. Actually, that's not entirely true. Okay, so this is the one room where spiders are an actual fucking problem. The good news is you can usually get around most of them without even having to shoot them, but I have the shotgun just in case. Also, those things poison you, so, you know. Um, I might at some point end up going to the, uh... I might at some point end up going to the combin... The, the first box room, um, on the first floor, west side, west side, um, we can get rid of that for now, um, specifically because there is, um, some shit. No, specifically because there is a, uh, there's a, there's a, uh, thing I can use that small key on that'll, uh, net me some extra ammo, um, which, um, you know, may prove useful here. All right, let's go into the septic poo. <laughs> Extra thick spooter. It's spooter moon. I'm surprised they never... You remember in the first game, those fucking chimeras, those insect human hybrid things that were the scariest fucking thing in this entire franchise? I'm surprised those never returned. I know they were in Zero, but... Hey, look, it's Ada again. Yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the yeah, those RPG. things were the fucking worst. And they would spooge on you. It's a dead end. Look at this hole. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? <laughs> shaft. Give me a boost. I'll go and check. Okay. Here we go. So here is, here's the same thing we did with Sherry, but this time with Ada. Um, which is going to be go entirely different because, oh God, there's a little girl. Oh shit. Oh Jesus. 
Oh, look, she dropped her pendant. And look, Patrick, it's got a picture of a happy family in there. This. Not her family, I probably. Hold on to it for her. Um, anyways, this one goes completely differently because she has a fucking gun. Some dogs ain't shit. She's got, I believe that's the, no, I want to check it. The same pistol that Claire uses, but she fires it super fast. And she holds it gangsta. <laughs> Look at how faster she fires. Oh, and I guess there's not dogs. Alright, I don't know where the other ones are, and I don't want to go through this transition yet. Luckily, she fires fast enough that it won't be an issue. Okay, here we go. Trying to do, do a dance there, buddy? Alright, I think we'll be safe. Yep. Look at that. Ada a beast. I wish I had a reload button. I don't know what her uh, animation thing is, and I don't care. I don't want to die. Uh, so that's Ada's thing. So now I can go over here and grab either some magnum rounds or shotgun rounds. I think it's magnum rounds, to be honest. Oh, nope. Shotgun. I was wrong. Again. <laughs> I'm wrong. The stream pod... Let's play. There's nothing else over here. Nothing else over here. So that's that area when we went to Sherry, that dead end. That's where uh, Ada jumps in, obviously. I always thought that was really cool that they did the... Uh, uh, they did the, 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 the game like that. Uh, here we go for the same fucking puzzle that Sherry did, except Sherry isn't, or uh, Ada isn't a fucking, like, 11-year-old, so she's gonna have no problem pushing the boxes around. Every game had a puzzle like this, and, um, some of them were not good. Um, the Resident Evil Zero one in particular was fucking atrocious. Um... Uh, the first game had a puzzle like this. It wasn't too bad. Um, the remake had a puzzle like this. It wasn't too bad. Actually, that one was fun. Remake is probably the best, like, uh, classic survival horror Resident Evil. Um, two's my favorite, though. And the first one has a special place in my heart of, like, oh, man, I want to go back and fucking, yeah. I want to do it. The levels, I mean, not sex. Sorry. If you guys know what that's from, I'll be happy. All right. Let's do this puzzle really quick and get back to Leon as quickly as possible. Drop this or grab that. All right, so now Leon has access. Well, once we get it, this stuff back to him, Leon will have access to the entire police station. Which is good. It's importante. It kind of sucks that... I mean, it makes sense why they did it. Um, Sherry has the quickest run to that puzzle and the quickest run back, which gets her around those dogs. Um, which she has no defenses, so... Leon, like, no can shit. you hear me? Uh, Ada, did you find anything? Um, but if she wants to get the extra ammo right for Claire, which is kind of important because it's fucking grenade rounds, Think um, fast. Here's one more. she has to run the furthest. It's kind of annoying to me. Um, hey, I which means you only do it if you really want it. I'm going to have to find another way around. Scratch. I'll catch up with you later. Uh, Ada, wait! Ada, stop fucking not listening to me, god damn it. Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Cool. You Done. know, you do get some shit in that back area. That's right, you do have to go back there. And I remember why now, because of a very specific, very important, very... kind of bad reason. It's real bad, you guys! Everything's going fucking bad. All right, I'm going to take a few seconds in this hallway here uh, to take care of something for later. Uh, 
Uh, and that is going to be dropping off the, the, the Leon sewer stuff now. Um, we've got one more, so we can't get into the sewers yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've got one more, so we can't get into the sewers yet, but we can drop it off now, which will... Burp! I can't stop burping. Um, give us the ability to carry more shit into the sewers later. Which is kind of important. So we're going over here. Um, we're going to get to read a uh, file about this fairly soon. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's go. How's the uh, how's the stream looking and sounding, by the way? I know you guys would probably scream at me if there were issues, but I always feel like it's important to ax. Got to ax you a question. Fucking spider! So you just kind of manhandle your way past the spider. Oh god, it got me! That's the first time in years I've been touched by one of those things in there. Damn. Touched by a spider. The sequel to the hit show, Touched by an Angel. Yay, I'm happy it's looking good. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. So Leon gets done with the with the 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 police station a lot sooner, but I feel like he has a shit. Shit. There we go. That was kind of annoying. And I got hurt. Luckily, there's herbs all over the place further up ahead here where I'm going to be going. Notice I've completely ditched the pistol at this point, even though it's overpowered and fucking kind of awesome. Alright. So I'm going to go in here, and then I'm going to go in the club room door on the other side there. Um, and it's going to be different, I swear. So I came in here specifically because I remember that this thing is there. Grab that. And use it. There we go. Everything's fine. It's fine. Let's go. It's still unsettling to me that there's nothing in this fucking hallway. And it bothers me. Don't you know? Shit! Shit! I fucked that one up. I fucked up the timing on that. Oh man. And I'm in yellow caution again. God damn it. Good thing I'll hit up some more herbs on the way up. Okay, we've got the red card key. And we're gonna get something else really cool here in a second, too. I'm not gonna use that big thing. That's for that's for like a major fuck up. And luckily, there's enough herbs along the way where we're going here that I don't really have to worry about carrying it because I can just pick one up along the way. All right, so with that card key, we can get back over here into the armory and pick up that thing we left behind last time. So I don't know if y'all remember from, uh, from Claire A that we did, what, two days ago now? Uh, we came in here and we picked up a submachine gun. Uh, we left something here. It was a fanny pack. In my head cannon, fucking Leon wears a fanny pack. You're not cool, Leon. You're not fooling anybody. If we had taken both of those things, or neither of those things, uh, Leon would have had access to one of them or none of them. All right, so we've got Magnum ammo now. And look at that. We now have 10 slots which trivializes the item management of this game. Yes! I wish it was... I wish it wasn't supposed to be like a cool military looking thing, and I wish it was like a legitimately stupid looking like pink fanny pack with like a like blue and yellow neon flower on it. That would be awesome. Alright, so there's herbs over there uh, that we're going to grab, but we're going in here. Uh, because if I remember correctly, there's more uh, Magnum ammo that we'll get here. 
Or maybe like it's pink and it's got like a, like a cat's head on it. That would be funny. Right, in this locker. More shotgun rounds. Remember when we couldn't get anything out of here as uh, Claire? I probably fucked up and missed the missed the locker prompt, to be honest. But all right, so here's this guy. There's nothing on him. But if you look at this, he's got magnum ammo just sitting here. So I'm drowning in ammo for my heavy weapons. Which is good, because we need it soon. Watchman's Diary, August 11th. I finally had the chance. We didn't read this last time, so I'm reading it now. I finally had the chance to see blue skies for the first time in ages, but it did little to lift my spirits. I was reprimanded by the chief for neglecting my duties while I was up on the clock tower. There's only one thing I still don't understand. The chief seemed to, me more, seemed to be more concerned about the fact that I was up on the tower rather than that I was neglecting my duties. Why was access to the tower prohibited in the first place anyways? September 5th. I recently talked to the old man who works in the scrapyard out back. His name is Tomas. He's a quiet man and really seems to enjoy chess. He even went so far as to design a special key and lock engraved with chess pieces on them for one of the doors in the disposal yard. Hey, you guys recognize that from something I did five minutes ago? We made plans to play chess tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder how good he is. One thing that's been bothering me about him is the way he's always scratching himself. Does he have some sort of skin disease, or is he just rude? Ew. Rude. Thomas was a much better player than I had imagined. I used to think of myself as a fairly decent player, but he did a pretty good job of humbling me. Uh. About the only thing I imagine that could match his skills in chess is his appetite. All the guy did was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. I wonder if he's okay. He's a... He, he's a, a bambo! Look out! Behind you! Don't split up! I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> I was supposed to play another game of chess with Thomas, but we had to cancel it because he hasn't been feeling too well. He stopped by to see me, but I told him to go back and rest since he literally looked like the Walking Dead. <gasps> He insisted that he was fine, but I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it, I haven't been feeling too good myself lately. I wonder if Thomas is patient zero. He's a Zabambu. He's a Zubambin. He's a Zababin. Zababadabin. I'm a fucking child. <laughs> Alright. So let's go grab one of them herbs, herby herb, 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 running around, clutching my side, cause zombie bites hurt a little bit. Or what got me? Was it liquors? It was liquors. And they're just kind of scraping at my feet. Damn, I'm still not fine, even after taking one of those. That's, um, that's poor. Poor is a good word to describe what that is. Uh, there should be another one around here, though, so I should be fine. As long as I don't run into anything unexpected. Wait, did I grab the one behind this desk? I think I did. I think I'm wasting everybody's time. Am I wasting everybody's time? Nope, there was a second one. Yeah! See, they give you so much fucking health, it's hard to die in this game. As long as you kind of ration out your health stuff there. All right, let's keep going on. So we've got one more place for that key, and then we are almost entirely done. Um with the oh and there was another fucking herb there in case I had more problems um one more fucking key use and then one more quick trip and we should be done with the uh police station hooray all right I believe I will be getting more keys useless now discard I think I'm getting more shotgun ammo or something in here something something is our going to happen all right, let's see. Uh, so it's the same puzzle again. If I remember correctly, there wasn't ammo. I don't fucking remember. Was there ammo in here last time? Should I be looking out for ammo? Comments, people, do you guys know? You guys help me out here. Pretty preach with sugar on top and ice cream in the middle. Hey, look, it's that thing. We never grabbed a crank. Oh shit, fucking piss! So this guy's trivialized by the desk. Ah! But I still fucked it up anyways, huh? Ah, uh, that was dumb of me. Run away. Look at this. You just run around the desk and fucking unload into his asshole. 
That's how you impregnate impre impre That's how you impregnate a big man. All right, let's see what you got for me, asshole. Handgun bullets? That's fucking it. Did it say Oh, it's totally messed up. I thought it said he's totally messed up, which I would have laughed my ass off at. All right, let's grab this. Will I take the cog wheel? Something's got to give. At some point they got to give us they got to give us something more than pistol ammo. Uh, because pistol ammo is kind of underpowered at this point in the game. Man, that was a good fight. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! It's a big man! I'm going to get hit here. Shit! He got me good. I got to run. Woo! Suck my ass. Shit! 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 <laughs> I fucked up real bad, you guys. I might have to use my... super thing at this point. Okay, there we go. Woo! That was a tough fight. I'm gonna have to use all those fucking herbs on the way across. Finally! Which is good, because I used every shotgun shell I had for that asshole. It's fine. We will be switching away from the shotgun shortly to let it replenish ammo. Obviously, one of the best ways to, like, replenish ammo for a thing is as you pick it up, don't use the weapon. Um, so we'll be switching between the pistol, the shotgun, and the machine gun um, semi-regularly. All right. I need a crank. <laughs> I don't remember where the crank is. Do you guys remember where the crank is? I need the crank. I'm gonna need that crank. If it's all the way down in the basement, I'm gonna fucking hang myself. Um, for some reason, I can't remember for the life of me where that crank is. <sighs> so what I'll do is I'll go over here to this box. And if I can't remember where the crank is by then, I will very quickly cheat and look it up. Alright, so we want to switch that out for that. I want to switch that out. Actually, we'll keep that on us. I want to switch that out for greener. And we'll actually grab our magnum here. Because it may prove useful here in the near future. I hope I grabbed that little key. I didn't grab the little key. But it's okay, it's fine. We didn't go that far. Oop. We did it wrong. Okay, so I'm grabbing that because right over here. Garden shed. Garden shed, garden shed. Where is the garden? I don't know where the garden is. Hey, more shotgun rounds. That was actually totally worth it. Garden shed. Cog room. As in, like, it's in the same room that the cog that I got is, or... Because I use it in the... I use it in the same room as the cog, but I don't remember where to grab it from. Here, I'll just pause really quick and look it up. Leon B... Crank. Square crank can be recovered from the dog kennels in Raccoon City Police Department's basement. Leon B's game has the crank in the taxidermy. Oh, yeah, that's right, because we haven't gone up to the chief's room yet. That's what's going on. Okay. Okay. That, uh, I completely forgot about that. That's cool. That works. Yelling at my friends to come be the mods they're supposed to be in the thing I'm supposed to thing. Okay. So we got to go to taxidermy. And then from there, we can continue on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like the worst ever at this fucking game, you guys. Switch back to auto. This thing on full auto is going to carry us through the rest of the place. You are here more than my mind. Eh, they have lives. 
Shit! Look at how good that is. Like, that's way too good for liquors because you can stun lock them with the pistol. I love that. I actually genuinely love the weapons Leon gets. I wish he'd gotten more weapons like that in other games. Like, he, can you imagine a pistol with a three-round burst in, uh... In Resident Evil 4? That would have been cool. Alright. Anything else to worry about here? Nope. Okay. So this is, Leon B is the closest you get to being able to explore 100% of the map. Because uh, in Leon A, you never go in the chief's office. This never happens as, uh, in Leon A. So there's a diary you can grab, which is cool because it means that Leon knows that his boss is a shit. Big shit asshole. With poop coming out. Uh, yeah. Poo poo caca doo doo. I'm an adult. Tiger! Wonder if Leon has a thing for tigers. <laughs> Alright, let's keep on keeping on. I was wrong about it being almost done. I have a few more things to do here. Uh, specifically. Here's the secretary's diary again. I don't know why they let you re-grab that. If you're doing like a like a scenario B, you should only be able to pick up the stuff you didn't grab before. Okay, I have everything I need to do to complete this area here. All right, let's keep going. Oh God! So the music is playing already. Oh man, it's a good thing we have this magnum. So what we're going to do is we're going to... There we go. Shoot him three times. <laughs> do you guys remember? Do you guys remember when we were having trouble with him with the shotgun? You remember that? And he just, like, replenished and actually increased the amount of ammunition we have? How cool is that? So that guy is a constant, like, constantly dogs you throughout the rest of this game. There's, like, a lull in the middle where you don't run into his ass for a little bit. Uh, but I should switch to something less magnum-y before I go and waste some magnum rounds. Bleh! Nose itch. Arm itch. Face itch. Actually, face not itch. All right. So we need to go across the hall again. That's right. Let's go. This is going pretty well. Uh, I feel like this is going slightly better than the than the, the Claire playthrough. I feel like I genuinely fucked up that Claire playthrough. All right, let's see. Anything out here? Nope. Okay. I don't know why. I always remember this hallway getting filled with liquors. It's coming out here to lick that Leon booty. Head over here, and we're gonna head upstairs. We're gonna get rid of two things in our inventory, grab a thing we super duper need, and then we done. We we so done. What to airplane? Yes, we're in an airplane. Shut up. Nothing I'm all saying makes no goddamn sense. I forget, it's insinuated that Leon wakes up. Okay. It's insinuated that Leon wakes up late. Uh, and that's why he's pulling into town at midnight uh, for his first day on the job. And he shows up, like he drives apparently like eight or nine hours in his uniform. Which is dumb. Also, did the zombie apocalypse happen here overnight? I mean, I know it didn't. I know for a fact it didn't. So you think he would have known. You think he would have known before... Showing up that's like, hey, uh, maybe you shouldn't fucking come here. Alright, this dumb thing. I will push it. 
As a kid, I was always terrified of, like, activating any puzzles that would make noise or anything, because I wasn't thinking about the game mechanics or anything, and all I was thinking about was, Oh, I make noise, the zombies are gonna come and get me! Which I guess was great as a kid. Alright, we didn't do this in the other one. Look at this transition. You just jump into an air vent. Like, fuck it. No! No! How did get it get away! in there? Oh! You got hit in the chest and fucking murdered. Look at that. Oh, God! This asshole again! Why are you doing it, bro? Why do this? Some a bitch. Alright, so we should probably go check on old Ben there. Old Ben Kenobu. Help me, old Ben, the reporter ben. asshole. You're my only hope. Can you, you got hit with me? a pipe. Come on, answer. You got Haggard. You Damn. didn't respect it. I don't believe this. I almost got the story. <laughs> That's all he cares about? Ben. I'm dying. Uh, I almost got the story. Bitter <laughs> irony. The chief of police, a co-conspirator. <laughs> There's this thing I was writing. Get that scum. Make him pay. Yeah, okay. Hang in there. Sure. That's fine. Oh, I'm a dead man. <sighs> he didn't eat it as hard as irons, but he still ate it hard. Leon. Notice she's wearing Sherry's pendant now. She didn't put it in a... I mean, I guess she doesn't have a pocket on that slinky little thing, but... Mail to the chief from... Uh, two Brian Irons. We have lost the mansion lab facility due to the actions of the renegade operative, Albert Wesker. We read this already. Where are you going, Ada? Seriously! The chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. I'll go to your chemical plant. Ada! Yeah! Wait. Hey! Ada! Uh-oh. Hey, still there? We're leaving. Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling mm. with zombies. Excuse me. It'll be all right. Trust me. Oh, it feels sewer. good to stretch. Follow us later. It feels real good Claire. to stretch. Claire. Claire. Stretch me out. Wait, wait. Stretch you out. I don't know Man, what I'm saying why anymore. Why doesn't anyone ever listen to I'm getting me? Getting real creepy with it. Not as creepy as the weird child abortion stuff from Claire A, but you know, whatever. All right. So now we got to go back through the kennels. Uh, to jam in that last thing that we got there, don't you know? All right, let's see. We've got everything we need. Not everything we need, but we've got as much as I care to carry. We may have a problem here. Yeah, you ain't shit. You don't even know what you're doing. You're not even good. What are you doing? You know what? I'm not gonna risk it. And since it's been over an hour and a half, uh, after I do this little box thing, I'm gonna take a very, very short break. Uh, do I not have any fucking green herbs left? Fuck it, I guess I'm grabbing one of these. I hope I don't have to use it, but there it is, just in case. All right, so I'm going to take a two-minute break here. I hope you all bear with me um, because there's a boss fight coming up, and if you leave now, you're going to miss it. So there's a quick pause, and I will catch you all in a few moments.
All right. Hey, guys, I am back. Thanks for bearing with me here. Yep, everything looks like it's still working. Hey, nobody left. Thanks. You guys are the breasts. The best. I didn't. Don't say breasts. Boobies. <laughs> I know, I'm strange. Here, I'm going to very quickly do something here. And then we shall continue. And very quickly. Send one more out. But damn! Okay. All right. I am ready to get back into it. Hopefully you all are also ready to get back into it. We the titties. Oh, no. We're the titties. How misogynist. I don't know. Free the nipple. That's what I say. All right. Ah, delicious cucumber lemon water. All right. What were we doing, you guys? I forget what we were doing. I think... I think we were walking into this room to uh, have a boss fight or something. Oh, God. <laughs> this is what happens when you juice. Look, he's got a new pipe. He looked like shit, bro. What I think was really interesting um, is the places, um, and I don't know if it was intended, um, but it looks like the places where his transformation starts are where he had the injuries from his, uh, uh, from his gunshot wound. Okay, that's it. And I'm trying to, he's gonna, oh wait. I thought he threw the pipe. I guess not. So, uh, that was a boss fight. He didn't sound too happy about that. Uh, we do it. We do it. We the best. And we are officially done with you, girl. No, we're officially done with, uh, with the, the police station. Is there ever any hospitals in Resident Evil? I feel like you're never... She just fell through the fucking ceiling. What? Also, what the fuck is that machine? What is that? What was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid. You stupid bitch! Those zombies are everywhere. Not to mention that thing that got bent. The fuck! I was there, Leon. I know. Look, Ada. As an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive if Who's we don't paying work you? together. Okay. Because my, my right. thing is like, if you're not there being paid, no you're way. probably not the thing you're you're claiming to be. Okay, so now we have an Ada following us. And that's great because the Ada has a big gun. We also have a big gun, but the Ada has a gun. Big, big Ada gun. Gun, gun, gun. Gun, gun sandwich. She also doesn't get sucked into holes like a fucking idiot. I didn't take any damage in that boss fight. Like, G-Virus versus Mr. X. Mr. X has done more damage to me. All right, sewer manager facts. We've read all of these, so I'm not worried about grabbing any of those. There's nothing to grab right here. I think there's something in here. Yep, more pistol ammo. We're gonna push this around. Look at that. It is a special door. I wonder what's behind this door. A warehouse. How do you know that, Leon? Who is telling you about this stuff? Did you read a detailed breakdown of what the fuck's going on in this town before? It is very dark in here. Plenty of fuel remains. Perfect. I forgot that was there. I'm happy I ran in that direction. Hey, look at that. All the bullets we got back. So we're at the point where when we're using the Magnum, we are making up the, the, the ammunition we use. Something else around here? There's another one of these. 
plenty of fuel remains. All right, we light that up, and what else do we got? Fucking shotgun rounds. We're at the point where we cannot physically use all of the ammunition that we have. Fucking think about that. Hey, and Ada's back. You better hurry back. Some shit's about to go down. It's gonna get real bad for everybody involved. First aid spray. I barely knew her. Her, her, her. Let's drop that in there. A uh, big shout out and thank you to the uh, people who are hanging out in, uh, uh, in the stream with us, by the way. I do appreciate your attention. It feels so good. I am gonna grab this, because I have to go through the same fucking puzzle. Same fucking thing! I gotta do the same fucking thing! Kind of. A massage has been received. <coughs> ah, my wife. I have a, a big, beautiful Brussels sprouts plant growing in my- Oh, it's a woman! The root of all the Resident Evil problems. No, not really. <laughs> yeah! You took it real Eon. good. That woman was... I have to talk to her. <laughs> just fuck, fuck Leon. So just leave his ass on the ground. Yeah, that's real nice. You're an asshole. You're an asshole, Ada. You are the suck worst. Everything you do is shit. Uh-oh. Come on. There's spiders over there. You can hear them running around, but we're not going to deal with those. We're going to go up here. Gotta get away from those fucking things. It is incredible the amount of damage those things apparently can actually do. Alright, time to keep on keeping on. Oh, God! That is some... Fucking fantastic aim for a lab worker. You're the one who's with that cop, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah? Identify yourself. What about it? Bitch. Ada. Ada Wong. Ada Wong. Oh, Ada all over I've your heard that Wong. Name before. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Yep. Ada and John, I believe. You used it How in the did first you know? game. Who are you? Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. So I like how these guys, these two just what? have a frank John's conversation dead. about what's going on. He became on. one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. Why? I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away oh, from me. fine. G-Virus? It's capable Good of virus. creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T-Virus. You're a T-Virus. that must mean the I creature in the police department is... Precisely... My husband, William. And it's all Umbrella's fault. Mm, I mean... None of this would have happened jammed if they the thing in his own to hole. steal his research away from him. Fucking Where did you get that? Everything's me. bothering me. It looks exactly now she's freaking out because she stole her daughter's preg pregnant. Pre fucking god damn it. Pendant! It Why do we me. always go to the Pregert? <laughs> yeah, it's so hot. Ugh. Hang on, guys. I'm going to have to mute the video for a second. Uh, uh, Is it bad. done? Is Oh, I never turned it off. Oh. <laughs> get it? Did you get the, the, the lewd joke I was making? So this is cool. There's just a G-Virus right there. Why would you give that to your daughter? Stupid. You're stupid. All of you are stupid. Everyone in Resident Evil is stupid. No one has any sex. The only one who actually has sex is Barry. And everybody else is like, Oh, we're smoking hot and we're stuck in this desperate situation. What should we do? Let's split up. Oh, but we're stuck in this bed. Oh, let's split up. Ada. Oh, but 
I accidentally fell inside of you. Let's split up. Fucking goddamn it. <laughs> All right, so Leon's play is a little bit different. First of all, that fan turned on suddenly. It's way too dark to see what's inside. There's a body down there. I don't think I can get anything off of the body, but I can get stuff off of these bodies here. Specifically the wolf metal, which by the way, you there's no glint of it. You don't get to see it. it just su it's just there. And you'd have to spend like all the time in the world searching around this fucking place for stuff if you didn't know it was there. Which is kind of annoying. Especially on the first playthrough. Uh, no, I want to go through the door. There we go. There we go. Dee 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 dee. Alright, more spiders. It The spiders really become a threat if you slow down or stop or try to get them. Especially when they're on the ceilings or the walls because they're hard to hit and it's easy for them to hit you. So here's why I grabbed that Valvu. Jam that in there. You know, I probably should have more than one fucking health item on me. Probably not the one that's used for poison. If I use that thing, it's probably a tremendous waste. Okay, so. The last time we were here. Grab that. Grab this. And we're going to combine those because uh, there's some big damage opportunities coming up here uh, that could cause me problems. It's an old typewriter. Do I not have an ink ribbon? Do I not have... Shit. I have to go back and... Wait. Nope. No ink ribbon. Okay. I'm going to save before this fight. The reason I wanted to use the flame rounds in Claire A uh, for this fight is because this fucking thing we're about to fight um, can kill the shit out of everything quickly and with little difficulty. Um, I don't know the fight very well because I'm used to just dumping into it. Um, so it is entirely possible that we will have a few deaths here. Come on, get up, go on. Go on! Um... So it's important that we save because I don't want to lose almost two hours of streaming progress. It'd make you guys have to watch it again or whatever. I don't know. Shut up. Don't no, shut up. Talk. Spend time with me. So lonely. Come on, come on, come on. Get the fucking corner. All right. There's an ink ribbon. While we're here, we will drop this stuff off. Don't need I don't need that. I do need that. Shit. Fuck it, we're good as is. Except I'm gonna have a fucking shotgun round I'm gonna have to deal with. Oh, come on. Go around. Go around. Alright, double checking. We have an ink ribbon. Okay. We might have to make another stop at that box before we're done here just because of the amount of stuff we're going to have. Also, why is he running around perfectly fine with a giant bullet wound in his... Like, look at that. It looks like he got shot in the lung and in the shoulder. Maybe even the heart. He should not be able to just run around and be super cool with everything. Definitely should not be down for all this shit he's about to do. Yeah, you guys sit over there and be non-threatening. They're seriously only threatening if you get stuck on them in that one teeny little hallway or you stop to deal with them. Occasionally, you can become incredibly unlucky and get poisoned by one of them as you, like, run under them or something. But if you keep on the move and, like, serpentine even a little bit, you should have no problems with that. Zero problem. All right, let's use that. Closing off our way out of here. 
So yeah, in Claire A, I wanted to use the flame rounds to kill that guy. Or the acid rounds, I can't remember. Probably the flame rounds. Um, yes, I will use the ink ribbon. And I'm going to save separately from the actual Leon B save. Bam. So I always have a Leon B to start with because it's my favorite scenario. Anyways, um, I wanted to save that fucking... I wanted to save that canister that we used to blow the, the, the thing's head off for um, scenario two. Because yes, I have a magnum, but that thing still takes a ton of hits and can kill you very quickly. And we don't have the thing anymore because we used it the last time. So here goes something. Let's see. Let's see. Ada! Wait. Wait. Do I... Do I not have to fight it because I blew its fucking hat? Wait, what? What? Leon. I don't have to kill the gator. This yeah. I mean, that sucks. I wasted like five Leon, minutes Leon. getting ready to fight the damn thing and wasted a save, but damn it. And I can't save some, save That's scum saving the game. Don't mention it. So I she just kind of patched out. me up. John's dead. Oh no. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better. Ugh. She presents her butt to go up the ladder. So I just wasted a ton of time and space and whatever. Whatever. So we're coming up on two hours here. I'm wondering if I'll be able to beat the game in uh Wondering if I'll be able to beat the game in three here. I think this guy has shotgun shells too. No, he does not. All right. Yo, Pokey, what's up, dude? How you been? I ain't talked to you in a minute. It's been a while, but I saw Don today. Okay, we read this one in the Claire ALP. If you want to see what it says, go over to the YouTube channel and check it out. Uh, by the way, uh, Claire A and Leon B will both go in the... Uh, in the same playlist over on uh, the YouTube channel with the link below. Um, so if you want, um, you can watch the entire uh, Claire A. Leon B. playthrough from there. All right, so we're going to go through here and we're going to get through to the next part of the game. I might have thoroughly fucked up here. In fact, I think I have thoroughly fucked up. I am gonna go do the thing. Your name's still Pokey Scopes on the on the, the the stream chat, dude. So yeah, I remember you back when you were Pokey Scopes. Yeah. Alright. We're gonna waste time and drop off shit again. Um welcome to the uh welcome to the stream, by the way. We've been uh having some fun here with uh uh with Resident Evil 2, the DualShock version. This is Claire's side. Warehouse door is locked. Okay, so it's Claire's side. I can't do anything with anything here. Grab that ammo there. I never grabbed the shotgun ammo over there. Oh, look at all those herbs. Okay, this was a good... It's an old locker. It's an old locker. It's an old locker. Okay. So this isn't where I meant to go, but this is still totally fine. Uh, because now we can get rid of this thing. Actually, we're going to reorganize everything again. Alright, so we're going to grab the pistol. And the pistol ammo. We're going to grab the shotgun. And the shotgun ammo. We're going to grab our emergency full heal. And the two metals. It's the same metal puddle, 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 fuck me. Ver same metal puzzle as what was in the first Resident Evil game. Um, except you had to, there was an actually really neat and interesting way to get the metals in the first game. Um, that involved the, uh, the the item examination mechanic that is isn't in this game. 
<laughs> yes, it has. It's nice to see you're still alive and well, or assumedly alive and well. All right, now we're ready. And there's a reason I switched to the shotgun here, because, oh my god, it's about to go nuts. That thing's still up on the channel. That thing's still a fun video. So there's these Zambambos here. Um, but we don't have to worry about them. Fuck them. What's her face will catch up to us, no problem. There we go. Still got spiders here. Um, which would be kind of an issue if it wasn't as easy as running over shit. Come on. Running over here and dropping these into their slots. Here's what I want to know. Who inspects a sewer and, and, and doesn't ask questions about that? There's clearly a thing with some dumb weird bullshit leading to a waterfall that is lightly blocking the fact that there's a door cut into the fucking wall. And also, who's that sewage stopping? Oh man, this fucking place. I always thought this weird underground area was so fucking cool. All right. Let's see. Some ammo over here. No. Never anything over here. I think there's ammo over there in Leon A, to be honest. Um, uh, otherwise, what, what would be the entire point of that goddamn uh, 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 thing? The, the, the special, you know, rendered background thing. All right, y'all ready for some antics? I'm ready for some antics. Hope y'all are ready for some antics. This is another thing about this that's different from uh, the Claire stuff, is Leon has to deal with more bullshit. Claire, you didn't even see the inside of this thing. Leon, you do. Oh, shit! So the name of the game is... Uh, Look out for that shit. The good news is it gives you a... It gives you a heads up before anything happens. Man, we've got a lot of pistol ammo to go through. Ah! Yeah, get it! There we go. And we've reached the damage threshold. Blow some of its fingers off with pistol rounds. Which sounds painful as fuck. Even if you are a giant... Stupid animal creation. I don't know. Shut up. Here's your dumb little boss fight. Wasn't that cool? Wasn't that fun? I think that was fun. Don't do that as Claire, though. Yeah, Claire A is very clearly easy mode. Leon B is easy mode because of all the fucking weapons and shit that he gets, but in general, um, it's more difficult. Alright. So, last time we didn't have the lighter for this, but we have the lighter now. And shooting off this flare which for some reason there's a, a giant flare gun mounted to the ground here, reveals that thing over there. And that thing is the most important item in the game for Leon. Because it's a key to a weapon locker. And there's something very important deep inside of the weapon locker that's going to make us all wet with happiness on the stream here. You're all going to get wet. I promise you. You will be dripping before th this day is over. Load while firing my weapon right into her ear. It's all good. Alright. Look at how good that does. Just ruining everything. Okay, this is what we came for. Look at that! Um... So, once you uh, create the custom shotgun, I'm pretty sure this thing is arguably the most powerful weapon in the game. Um, de facto, the custom magnum is, but the, the, the custom shotgun will clear out an entire room of motherfuckers in one shot. It's awesome. Um, it's, fu it's, it's so cool. Um, it, it, uh, the magnum blows things heads off like zomb regular zombies heads off 
This thing rips the zombies in half. Like, just like, gone. Gone. There's no more zombos. No more zombos. Wow. No more zambambas. All right. So we're gonna... It didn't work. I swear to God, it's super cool and... Oh, shit. It one-shotted that one guy. So, there you go. Also, it holds more ammo. It holds uh, two more rounds. Okay, so the whole top half of his body is gone, not just his head. There we go. That's what I wanted to show you guys. Pokey, did you ever play Resident Evil 2 back in the day, or was that before your time, sir? Hey, look, we're in a room. There's some shit in the room. We finally arrived. There at, must be something what? hidden here. Yep. It's just like slowly watching her walk. He's like, I love to watch you leave, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm a fucking idiot. All right. Ooh, look at that. Magnum rounds and shotgun rounds. Um, I should probably be holding on to the Magnum for this next uh, thing here, but I'm going to hold on to the shotgun because we just got it, and I'm excited to use it. Also, I have 39 Magnum rounds. I have 27 shotgun rounds. I have a full complement of... Oops. I have a full complement of weapons. One of them almost fully upgraded. I'm going to grab that just in case. This is like... Look at how overpowered he is. He can pretty much carry anything. He's got these ridiculously overpowered weapons. This shit is awesome. This is like the best, the best. It's just the best, shut up. I didn't grab all those herbs in the other room. I'm a fucking idiot. I went in there specifically to grab the herbs and I didn't do it, damn it. Oh well, it's not like I'm gonna be short on herbs anytime soon. This shotgun is broken. The other shotguns are kind of broken, but this shotgun specifically is broken. Um, so, last time we came out here, there was a train here, but there's not, so now we have to go call the train, which means that Cannon, in this Claire A. Leon B., Claire got there first, which I think is kind of neat. Alright. Look at that cool door! I like that door. That door is cool. Look at this creepy fucking room. Hey, look at this angle. Look at that CC camera up there. Closed circuit TV camera up there. Here. Grab this control panel key. You turn the monitor on. Yeah. Oh! Oh god! Oh no! Oh! I'm terrified! Oh Jesus! Oh god! I remember my sister becoming incomprehensibly terrified at that part. So I'll show you one of the things about the shot. Uh, shit! Uh, one of the things about this shot being broken is that... Look at that. That's it. Um, once you get into the middle of this game, he starts dropping the stuff you want and need, so it becomes incredibly important to take him down. In the beginning of the game, not so much, and obviously we took him out anyways just because I know what I'm doing. Um, but you can run from that guy. You just don't get the ammo he drops. Which, granted, you have to use the ammo to get the ammo, but it's not too bad. Um, I think it's a really cool mechanic. Alright, so we grab the, uh, key that's gonna call the, uh, the thing back up. And I can't remember. I don't think there's a cutscene, but it might play the cutscene of it going down in reverse. I don't remember. There's a keyhole. So I love how she's just sitting here like, Duh! <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. He did get wrecked. I mean, he punched me a couple times, but like, what was his plan? It's like the fucking Magini in Resident Evil 4, where it's like, it's this long fucking bridge, and at one side is Chris and Sheva with, with, you know, with weapons, and at the other end of these guys, and two of them have crossbows, and the rest of them are like, I've got a broken bottle. Uh, I'm switching. Actually, I won't switch, I'll just bring. Oh, nope, I'll go here. Go on, get in! 
I'm gonna bring the, uh, the Magnum for this next part. Once again, wasting everyone's time. I'm so sorry! The shotgun's probably totally fine for this, but I would... I would... I would rather use this fucking thing for these... these upcoming fights here. Um, which, yes, as you can probably imagine, um, we have another fight coming up. Uh, hello to everybody who's recently joined the stream. I see there's a lot more of you than I usually have. Uh, we're about... Uh, 65, 70 percent of the way through uh, Resident Evil 2 Leon B here. Uh, we're going to be playing all the way through to the end um, for this stream. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Yeah, I have uh, no key. I guess I just hit the button. I have more Magnum shots than I will ever know what to do with, dude. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Here. So, since we don't need the key, that means we can just press this button, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because Claire jammed the key in there. It's one of the, like, weird continuity things where it's like, no, this one's continuous, but the other one isn't. Hmm. Take a look, see. Don't... Via is doing good. Yeah. He technically has more magnum rounds than he has magazine pouches to carry them all in. <laughs> I don't have any place to hold all these magnum rounds. I gotta put them in my mouth and just be really careful not to swallow. Yo, you got wrecked, son! Oh Ada, shit! Ada. Fucking wombo comboed! Come on, snap out of it! <laughs> I like how she how she basically takes a brick like a fucking cinder block with steak knives on it to the face and he's like you okay snap out of it <laughs> hey dead man it's nice to have you yeah um this is this one's my favorite too i think the i think the resident evil remake is the best re4 between re4 and resident evil re4 is probably the best resident evil re remake is the best classic resident evil this one's my fucking favorite. This one's my debess. Oh no, the door has been locked by plot. I wonder what's gonna be going on out here. Let's look around here. Ah, uh, so... This is the best design in all of Resident Evil. This big forearm dildo-headed shark-toothed fuck. I'm gonna run the fuck around this corner here. So if I remember correctly, yep, he's gonna land right there. Alright, uh, this guy's a big bad motherfucker. Uh, good for now. Let's reload. Is that it? Yep, that's it. It took, what, 10 rounds? Look at that. Look how fucking cool that is, you guys. I kind of agree with you, Dead Man. So this, uh, this game is, pr this game is pretty up there. Pretty goddamn up there. All right. Now let's go Mac on this half-dead chick. It's not weird. The motor has been stopped due to problems with overheating. Okay. Now we get to have a chat with this Welcome asshole that back. hasn't been listening to us the entire game. Hey, take it easy. Ah, We're inside delicious. Umbrella's secret lab. I'll go find some. How do you know that? So All you know is you're taking room. an elevator right I, down. I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Go. Save yourself. Save myself. Is it just me, or does everybody always ignore what I say? <laughs> I told you, it's my job to look after you. That's funny. But you'll be in danger if you stay with me. I know I've only known you for You like Resident Evil 3 more than Resident Evil 2? It's a good I game, and it's got a lot of cool ads, uh, additions I, to it over Resident Evil 2. But there was a I'm couple things in that game I didn't like. Anyone, One was the late game, um... I don't want uh, the late you. game nemesis We're stuff where he's just in together. every room sprinting We're at you kind of got super right annoying to me. It is a legit... Oh, you're hoping the remake itself is legit. Yeah, I think it's going to be okay. They seem... 
they they seem to have done the remaster of the remake of the first one um and they did extra work in that they didn't have to do um as like a test for how they were gonna do um uh resident evil 2 remaster so i'm really happy that that's that's a thing now all right i might have uh trouble here so this is a part um i don't think you got to see this part in claire b i don't remember no, yeah, you do. You come through here as, uh, as in Claire B. You definitely do. And there goes the train. With our half-dead, recently available, sexy Asian spy. She's not sexy because she's Asian. She's sexy because she's recently available. Hey, at least I'm honest! <laughs> All right, let's switch back to this. You guys are never gonna see the pistol again, by the way. Uh, hey, look, an herb. Don't get that herb. The fact that we only took one hit in that fight. Oh, wow. Can take more than one green herb to heal the damage he did to it. So we're in stage two of yellow caution. Kind of a big deal, you guys. All right, so this puzzle can suck. Um, and you can fuck it up, which is really interesting. Um, the other interesting thing about the fact that you can fuck up the puzzle is because you can fuck up the puzzle, they designed it so that if you exit the room and come back in and you haven't completed the puzzle, it'll just reset the whole thing. So let's see, have I fucked it up? Nope, I can get behind it. So we are good. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna push you now. I'm gonna come over here and do this. I'm pretty sure there's another herb in this room, so we shouldn't have any problems here. Um, I'm honestly not at all worried. Although I am going to have to take a quick look around to remember exactly where we need to take all this shit. Hey, look at this guy. Alright. So we've got a note here. Uh, investigative report on the pee gas. The poo gas. Uh, the poo gas has been pro proven capable of incapacitating all known bioorganic weapons. As such, it has been designated for emergency usage in the event of a uh, bioorganic weapon escape. Reports based on data collected during prior incidents indicate the potential for negative side effects. The poo gas has been proven to weaken Bose cellular functions. However, prolonged or repeated exposures will result in the creation of adaptive antibodies to the agent. Furthermore, some species have been observed to absorb the poo gas as a source of nutrition and use the toxins extracted against anything perceived as a threat. Use of the poo gas should be severely limited to extreme cases only. We strongly request the authority to reevaluate the poo gas deployment system. We would like this reevaluation to take place immediately. All right. So, the poo gas report has been filed. Um, in the first game, we had the, or in the first playthrough, the, the uh, Claire A, we had the opportunity to go into a room which we didn't go into and use the poo gas. I did not use the poo gas, and I am gonna keep calling it poo gas, so if you don't like that, you can suck my wiener. Um, um, I did not use the poo gas specifically because if you use it in the first playthrough, it makes many of the enemies in the second playthrough much deadlier. So it is in our best interests to not use the poo gas until now. I will be using the poo gas here. We gonna get to poo gas. All right, I need to come around and I need to push it that way. So that we can get around it. Okay, push it that way. Push it this way. So yeah, this puzzle is kind of easy to fuck up um, the first or second time through. Uh, you can totally screw it up and have to reset the entire room. Uh, which would be annoying, so yeah. Yeah, I've heard, uh, I've heard Friday the 13th is really good. I might have fucked this up by not pushing it. Nope, we're good. I've heard Friday the 13th is really good. I heard the server issues sucked right at the beginning. Let's see. I don't see any items here. It's locked. The door is marked power room, so we need to go down. Um, you know what? I'm going to use... I'm going to use one of the... No, these are the only herbs I have. We're just going to keep on going. All right, so the power room is locked. We need a key to get into the power room. So we need to go down here to wherever <coughs> this is. Uh, one, of the, uh, um, one of the things I agreed with you, Deadmance, on uh, uh, 
Do you hear those? Do you hear that? Let's, uh... Let's see how this... No! 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 Ooh. Okay. So these are the super lickers. Did you see how many magnum rounds it took to get that thing? Shit! There we go. And I've already been fucked up again. What am I hearing? What was I just hearing? What the fuck was that? I don't know what I just heard. This looks like a switch to turn on the elevator. Will you push the switch? Yes. The last time I saved was before the crocodile fight I didn't have to do. The elevator power is already restored. Okay. So now I have access to the elevator out there, don't you know? Go around here. Let's take a look at this giant thing. First of all, look at this industry. How was this built in secret? What the fuck? Some officials in Raccoon City are really fucking stupid. Actually, the entire city is really fucking stupid. No, the last time I saved was before the alligator fight that didn't happen, expecting to have to fight it with a magnum. And here we are. Alright. So we don't have to do. The box puzzle is done and it's set in place, and we don't have to worry about it anymore. Um. We didn't have to do it now. We could have done it later. Um, but it would have been a pain in the ass to do it later. Uh, but yeah, if I do die now, we're going to be set way the fuck back. Uh, for shizzle. Right, let's see. Let's grab... Do I have any green herbs? I do not. I'm going to grab that weapon box key because that will become useful sometime soon. Let's see. Can I use this mix I don't need to use to get back up to fine? Yes, I can. Okay. So all I'm worried about is, is, is being fine. That way I can say it's fine. It's fine. Type P door. Those doors are so fucking cool. Everything about the... the everything about the... The... Uh, lab in this game I think is really fucking cool. I think it looks awesome. I really like the labs in these games. The master key is required to open the emergency route. An elevator control panel. Will you push the button? Yes. So if I die at some point, I'm going to be super, super sad. There's one more save I know I'm going to make. So we'll get out of we'll get out of Leon B um, with only one save. Yes! Ultimate power! Where the fuck? Oh, they're way the fuck over there. That was a waste. So if I split the difference between these guys and just wait till they're close enough, I can handle it. Yeah. Except for that wasted shot I took. And now for you. You're dead. You're dead. Let's go see if Ada's there. Ada. Ada. Did you sleep off that butcher knife covered brick to the face yet? Are you gonna make it? Ada? Ada? Where did she go? <laughs> Leon, you are a goddamn idiot. Give me one second, guys. I have an actually important phone call. Oh my god, I'm back! Okay, so you can't get into this room until you have the master key, which is dumb because Claire is able to just walk right in. Anyways, sorry about that. Uh, it was an actual uh, call regarding a doctor's appointment. Um, so it was, it was relatively important that I take that call. Alright, you guys ready to do the exact same shit again that we did the last time here? 
Um, so the interesting thing you find out in, let's see, card key, yep. The interesting thing you find out in Leon's playthrough here um, is that, um, 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 words I can't think of right now. The interesting you th uh, thing you find out in Leon's playthrough is that those plant things we had to deal with before, they actually have heads and you can blow them off with the shotgun or the magnum. I could set the superconductor here if I had a fuse case. Remember, what's her face did this? Oh, I'm good. It's just a. Uh, actually, no, it's not just an annual physical. It's an annual physical with. Uh, um, I'm going to be getting referred to sports medicine because I do a lot of. Uh, first of all, I'm hurt from the Marine Corps. Um, second of all, I do a lot of uh, physical activity, specifically uh, brutally long hikes and mountain climbs and runs and whatnot. And I'm going to be getting myself referred to um, a sports medic medicine clinic. Um, to do some physical therapy regarding the fact that I've basically ground my feet into dust since I've gotten out of the military. Um, my feet are completely flat. They hurt every day, and yet I still climb like a fucking crazy person. Um, so I'm an idiot. Um, and then also I have, like, constant skin damage from, uh, the Southern California sun. Uh... Which, yes, boo-hoo, I live in Southern California where the weather is perfect and it's sunny all the time. But I'm a fucking Viking person, so I can't, I can't deal with the, uh, the sun that well. So even with, even with sunscreen and the fact that whenever I go out, I'm wearing, like, full long sleeve stuff with, like, hoods that cover up most of my face. I still get, like, like, sun damage around me. Like, you can't, you can't really tell, but the difference between the place under my eyes where my sunglasses sit and my cheeks is like perfectly fine skin and then just this like fucked hellscape of sunburn and death. Yeah, it sucks. Um, for me. It, I shouldn't complain about it, so I'm not going to complain about it, but yeah. I'm a sad, hurt little baby boy. Alright, so we've got the west area here, but here is where we are going. We're going over here now to do a special thing. Um, and we're going to have to deal with a ton of fucking liquors. So, okay. Here's a place we didn't go before. So, user registration. Uh, guest valid for 24 hours. Leon actually has to come in here because he has to get access to this card key from here. Which means that we don't have to go through the entire thing in order to... Looks like he poured oil all over the place. Oh, look, there's that plant we didn't deal with last time. What's over here? Laboratory security manual. Uncontainable biohazard. We read this last time. I want to see what's going on in this computer. Will I turn on the switch? Yes. Okay, so that's the anti-bow thing. That doesn't kill this, though. The fact that it's covered in gasoline does, though. Yeah! Yeah, burn and die! Yeah! You're dead! That's your plant 42 moment for this game. Alright, so we climb up here. And here we are in a room full of liquors. Both dead. I really hope they're both dead. Wow, they both touched my goodies and I'm fine. Leon's health is so fucking weird in this. Hey, look at all this shotgun fucking ammo. Yeah. I'm excited for shotgun. Are you boy, boy people excited for shotgun? All right. The interior has been destroyed by the plant. Okay, so the reason that we use the anti-BOW thing is because it weakens the liquors. Even though they're they're the super powerful version in this game, um, they are still weaker um, than because you you run into super liquors here at the end of the game. Um, yes, I anti-assumed your anti-possible gender or non-existence of your possible non-gender existence. Fuck you, shut up. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, I used it now, um, because it's good to use now. Um, if I had used the, uh, if I had used the, the, 
the bow gas. If I'd used the the poop. <gasps> Shit! Shit! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> All right. I'm dangered and I'm poisoned. Actually, I was just in danger. Those things are real. They fuck me up again? No. Okay. Need to turn on the lights. The lights are over here. I, there will be more ammo. Shit! It whipped me! Whip it good. The light is already on. Fuck you. Alright, what's this? Activator for VAM. That's right, we dealt with that last time. So yeah, even... And there is magnum bullets. And I think... I thought there was like a master key. No? Okay. Leon doesn't necessarily need to go in this room, but... Extra magnum bullets are nice. <laughs> I triggered and anti-triggered you all at once. Uh, let's see. Let's hit the switch. But I don't think we need to go down there yet. Nope. We will be going down there later. So remember when I did the whole guest access thing and registered it to, to Claire's fingerprint the first time? Well, I did it again now. Or I'm going to do it again now, and then Leon will actually have access to that room. So that's like the super secret. You better, not really secret, but you better have remembered to do that the first uh, go around thing. All right, so next step is going down. We already have pretty much everything we need, so. All right, so I'm not fucking with these ones. They fucked me up last time. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna equip the fun gun. And I'm gonna do this. There we go, they're both dead. Took five rounds, that's fine. Perfect. We didn't take any damage that time. That was good, felt real good. Shit! Look at that, did you see that pop? That was its head exploding, believe it or not. Mm, I'm not gonna grab that herb. I'll probably grab some of the herbs around here later, but I'm not doing it right now. <clears throat> Switch back to this bad boy. Wow. Right. So we've got liquors to deal with here. Good news is. Also, notice this thing is so powerful, it's pushing Leon backwards. Yeah, you suck! Quick step back and they can't deal with it. Was that the last one here? I believe it was. Sweet! Hopefully we don't run into any more, although I'm pretty sure we will. Hope you guys are enjoying this this stream. I'm enjoying it much more than the Claire one. Partially because we haven't had to deal with any pregnant 11-year-olds yet. Alright. So here we can go over here to grab the map. Which, once again we won't need and we'll never use. Uh, let's see. I need to grab some some healing items here. I don't have any fucking healing items, do I? All right, I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to keep that first aid spray on me just in case. We shouldn't need it. We, should, we shouldn't need it. Actually, we might totally need it. All right, let's see what's going on in here. All right, I have the key card to do this thing right away. Oh no! It's poo! It's not really poo. It could be poo. If you want it to be poo, it's poo. Is this thing still? Yep. That's it. Um. In terms of like like power levels for weapons, um, I believe it's for Leon. It's pistol, custom pistol, shotgun, magnum, custom shotgun, custom magnum. Do you guys remember what the thing I'm supposed to put in? This would have been a perfect space for an Easter egg. 
where like they don't tell you about it but if you know that you enter in like i don't know ada or something it it does something different or it gives you some, i don't know registration complete guest registration is valid for 24 hours Remember that time we fucked up that moth? That's the only time you ever see an enemy like that in any Resident Evil game. I mean, there's bees in the first one. The bees are in my eyes. Uh, yeah, there's bees in the first one, but that's the only time you ever really deal with anything like that. Right. Were there a bunch of herbs in the place next to the escape route? Okay, uh, here's why that key is the most important thing. Fuck you! There we go. I had to do it that way. Really inconsistent how they do it. We've got magnum parts. Look at this fucking thing. Look at it! Look at it! <laughs> Ten inch fucking barrel. Okay, so on regular zombies and naked super zombies, the, um... Where was I going with that? Um, I don't know if you noticed, but it blew both of their heads off. Actually, you didn't get to see it. But anyways, that's the cool thing about it is the bullets pierce. So if you get a bunch of zombies in a line, you can blow off like three or four heads in a row. It's the sickest. It's actually the sickest. All right, we've got the P room key. You know, P. All right, we're going to put this away until later. But that is, like, the single most powerful weapon in Resident Evil 2 that's not, like, a special weapon. Wasn't that so fucking cool when I blew off two of their heads with one shot? Thing's amazing. It's really powerful. Especially against living things. Fuck it, I'm gonna grab this. Hopefully I'll run into some green, green, green herbs to jam dead into. Remember that time I got scared by that liquor jumping through the window even though I knew it was going to happen and experienced it already two days ago? Fuck me. Right, we've got all we need. And because of the, the, the fucking extra two slots that we have, we've got a million... We've got, like, extra space to grab anything else we want. Which is awesome. Come on, bitch. You ain't shit. I always suspect. I always suspect that shit's gonna happen. And it, and it still gets me. Ooh, it still gets me every time. It's okay, though. Combin! Combin! There we go. So now I'm carrying what? Three healing items? Oh, and there's, a, there's another one. And I'm pretty sure I have a another red herb that I can grab from a box going to the power room. So I'm going to go back here. I'm actually going to from here. Yeah, that thing's dead. Um, hmm. I'm not going to save here. I'm not going to save here, but I am going to uh, drop off that stuff. Drop that off. Did I have another red? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Uh, nope. I guess I grabbed it out of there. Okay. Um, I should save for the sake of the, the stream because some real shit's about to go down. I should save. Nah, I think we'll be all right. I sincerely hope we will be all right. Because if not, I've fucked over everybody watching and everybody who might watch in the future. <laughs> and that would be unconscionable of me. By the way, vagina plant. You guys saw it. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Why are you... Shit.
shit, 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 shit. Going around that. Never have to go back there. I don't think we'll ever have to go back there. I'm 90% sure we'll never have to go back there. We do, however, have to go over here since I activated the trap card. Whoa! Oh. Since I activated the, the guest thing, I'll be able to come over here and uh, do this. Two or more staff needed a secondary fingerprint verification. Fingerprint verified. Access granted. Staff only. There's within... The whole place is staff only. Why is there a sign say staff only? Shit! Shit! Huh. So you know how I kept asking about the fucking computer screens and everything? Um, it's computer screens of this room and the creepy shit in this room. Also, this is the only time you ever hear this audio track. Listen to that. It sounds really good. It's a second submachine gun, you guys. How fucking crazy is that? His abdomen has been ripped apart. Listen to this audio. It's so fucking good. Alright, I genuinely don't need that second submachine gun. But, like, missing out on that room is, like... Especially for a stream where I have the opportunity to just show you guys is, I think, a serious faux pas. So we got to go in there. We got to check out the second fucking uh, submachine gun. I'm not going to use it. Um... But yeah, I thought you guys would get a kick out of that, so hopefully you did. Hopefully there's someone that never seen that room before. All right, we got any more of those assholes? No, we do not. And I need a master key for that door. That's like basically the final save point. An elevator control panel, will you push the button? Yes. Let's go. We're almost done, you guys. Oh, shit! You... You murdered my husband. I know what you're looking for. Literally the exact same audio line from the last scenario. Take it from me. This is my husband's legacy. Exactly the same. Where's that spy you were working with earlier? You're a spy. You know who I'm I don't talking know. about. What? You really don't know anything, do you? <laughs> You're Jesus. so gullible. She's one of the operatives mm. sent here by the agency. The only reason why she came here is to obtain the G-Virus. Oh my god. That's a lie. Well, she got the other no, sample, so I don't know why she's stuck around. I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about him. Oh, man. That can't be. I know her. Ada wouldn't do something You've like talked that. to her for like 45 no seconds and watched that. her get hit in the face with a butcher block, cinder anything. block, butcher brick, butcher knives. Oh god! It's Big McMahon. And then she just leaves me to fight him. Um, check this out. Four shots. That's it. That's fucking awesome. I should have used that submachine gun. Hey! Are you okay? You're fucking dead, bro. Four shots and I just got eight shots out of him. Isn't that cool? Isn't that dub s? Doesn't that feel so good around your dick, girl? Alright. Actually, there's a save point in here. You know what? I'm saving here for the rest of the game. That's what I'm doing. That's what I am doing. Uh, so we dump that off. Grab the ink rabbin. 
Because we're going to have to deal with some serious business up here in a minute. Nope. Yes. Hit yes. There we go. It was so fucking cool. I love that shit. I love th that you get this weapon that just like four shots something that's been, you know, bothering the shit out of you the entire game. Oh, there's an e-crib in here. I didn't actually need to grab that. So this, this will be our last save. We're almost there. We're at the final stretch. I'm going to pee my pants before we get there. But we're almost there. Pump room. I'll pump your room. Ha 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 ha! Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, so we got the key to the power room. The power room is up here. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. You've used the power room key. It's useless now. Discard. Absolutely. You know what? I'm happy I saved. I feel like the pressure's off now. Now I can just be a dumbass and fuck around. Oh no! It's a big man! And for some reason, this one's more of a problem than before, even though I have the god pistol. He got Nine. stunned by her pistol. Ada. What What are you trying to do? Oh no! With the choke slam! Oh shit! Fucking shit! Oh no! She got fucked up, yo! And so did he! He's not happy! Apparently a couple pistol rounds to the face, like, hurt him. <laughs> but my giant magnum doesn't. Ugh. Hey, are you guys Leo, into necrophilia? Escape. I'm asking no. for a friend. We're a team. I can't just leave you behind. I'm just a woman. <laughs> I'm in love with you. Wow, that was fast. Oh, I guess she's not dead. I guess it's not weird necrophilia shit. I guess that'll be the title of this. I was wrong about necrophilia. And now she's dead. Ada. No. Yeah, blow out your audio. Hey, da! I remember that time Ada died. She never came back in any of the other games or anything, so you know she's dead. I will always remember you. So her getting smashed into that thing, I think, was what was supposed to have caused the uh, the self destruct. So you can just kind of look at her body and he can be like, man, I wish I'd smashed. And she just happened to have the master key, which looks like some weird ass, like, 2030s car key. Actually, that's not true. It looks like some weird, like, 2000s car key key fob thing. Alright, so now we have the master key. We can go on to the end of the game. I hope you are all excited. What is this? Oh! Oh no! Apparently falling into the lava turns you into a big scary thing. Leon, you made it. Scratch my nose. Claire, is that you? Where are you? Alright, we're at 246. We might come under where we came under or where we came in at uh for Claire A. So that'd be cool. I left her in the security office. Please, you must save her. Okay. Wait a second. Oh yeah, that's why they lock it because Sherry's in there. So now that I have the key, I have to go get her. That's that's it. Okay. Hello, Claire. Are you there, Claire? The security office. <laughs> Metal Gear. <laughs> Very quickly, let's equip this. This will be probably the last time we end up using this thing. Let's keep going. All right. Here we are at the finale. And you know what? Just because we're right at the finale, and I'm about to go in my pants like a little boy, I'm going to take a few seconds. Bear with me, please.
Oh my god, I'm back! Thanks for bearing with me, guys. Um, we're back. Uh, let's get that, go back to the game, and let us continue on. Glad y'all been hanging out with me. I've been having fun. Alright, let's go. Okay, so, there's something I want to discuss that I thought about while I was holding my wiener in my hands. Uh, just kidding. Um, but no, there is something I want to discuss. So, the, the, the Mr. X falls into the lava and basically turns into a big fucked up tyrant, right? Um, I am curious... And I know, I know that it's explained and I can look it up on a wiki or something. I'm curious if Mr. X isn't what they were trying to make when they made the, uh, the original Tyrant, that fucked up thing in the first game. Uh, because he basically turns into a better version of the Tyrant, you know? I've used the Master Key. And so, yeah, I'm really interested if that's, like, the whole deal and then the nemesis from the third game isn't, like, a fucked up version of... Of, of Mr. X again. Also, look at him brandishing that giant fucking shotgun barrel at her face to wake her up. Like, Claire told me to get you! Some Elian Gonzalez shit right there. Master key is required. Will I use the master key? Yes. Emergency elevator. It's a side elevator! Technology! Yes, I will go down. Not on this little girl, no! No! No, not in the chat, stop it! I already know where your heads are, where we're thinking. And not on the dead body up in the power room either. Bad, you're all bad. I, I spray you with my invisible water bottle, bad kitties. <laughs> hey look, it's a big fucking kick-ass train. Actually, it's a really cool looking train. I know ev I know I know everything. I know that it's a cool ass train. Just rest here for now. Claire should be back soon. Spray the water of the kitties. Oh no 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 god no bad bad bad. It's an activation for the cannot be activated due to insufficient power supply. I'm hoping Pretty sure there's a there's a item box around here somewhere that I want to use because um, I want to like just in case have um, yeah here it is okay so there's this thing on the ground platform key okay I need the platform key I'm gonna dump this. And I'm gonna grab two first aid sprays. Hopefully I don't use them because your your stuff gets dinged. Uh, your your final score gets dinged if you use first aid sprays. That's why I probably ended up with a B um, in the Claire playthrough. Shit, come on. Um, but um, some really real real shits about to happen for reals. Oh, there's no way we're coming in under the last stream. Dizzledar. Also, I like how that door just kind of auto-opens. Good. You make all the questionable jokes. I'll sit over here and, and, and scream at you about making all the questionable jokes. How dare you. I should have fully filled myself up with the uh, healing items there. Uh-oh. Five minutes until dent... Five minutes until dent... 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 I don't know. What's over there? It's been a while since I've done this. I don't think I'll run out of time, so. Oh yeah, another fucking item box. There might be ammo over there, but we don't have any ammo. We're, shit, come on, go, run, fucking run. Okay, so if you look, we're at the final boss here. I have 20 shotgun rounds, and I have 32 magnum rounds. Talking about drowning in ammo, I've killed every enemy we've come across except for like three or four. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. Yes, I will open it. Yes, I will take the joints plug. I love joints. <laughs> I get it, it's like a drugs thing. Alright, we've got four minutes. 
Four minutes until the final solution. I mean, the last answer. Shut up. All of you, shut up! Alright, let's jam the plug in. There we go. Oh, it jams both of them in. I forgot that. That's really nice. No Tovo! Upon restoration of power. The light turns out. And this is a man on fire! Look at that. That's basically a big, giant, sexy tyrant. Look at how badass that looks. And he's on fire the whole fucking time. Alright, we need to get the fuck. Here. Use this. That was fast, wasn't it? Ada, is that you? Ada! No, it's Ada's twin. Jada! Uh-oh. Oh shit. I thought I oh, I thought I was running around his ass. Alright, so this is <clears throat> a fucking stinger missile launcher! Yeah! Ow! Game over. Yeah! Oh, and the tan line on his legs, that's funny. He's dead! He's fucking dead! Yeah! Yeah! Suck my dick! I beat Resident Evil. There's nothing else to do. You can all leave the stream. Now. Please don't leave the stream now! So now I'm just running around with this rocket launcher. I don't think... Did I have to press a button there? I'm going to go back and double check that I have to press a button because if I have to run all the way back and then run all the way around, it's going to get real creepy and sad. Everybody's going to be sad. Sad, sad, sad. Sad, 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 sad. Double check. Double check. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to look at this button. Press it. It's already been supplied to the train. Okay, cool. We're good. We're good. Don't exit the stream. Watch the stream forever. Donate to the stream. Don't donate to the stream. Don't do that. I don't deserve it. Even though I made a donate button. I'm being serious. Don't donate to my fucking stream. I don't deserve it. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go here. Alright. Oh shit, oh shit, I fucked up, I fucking forgot. <laughs> I ran right into that guy. There's chunks on the screen. Damn. Oh. That was it. I didn't need to do that. Alright, I need to press this button. And we've beaten the game. Look at that. Look at how awesome we are. Let's go. We've done the job. We are Leon. We are the best. Claire can suck it. I don't know. Something, something. Shut up. Oh, it's a cool remix of the thing. Will you move the lever? Fuck yeah, I will. What is this? Look at that. We did it. Oh, never mind. Oh, you almost lost your whole face, mouth, bro. You could have died. You donated ten dollars. Why would you do that? Why? I don't deserve it. Why would you do that? I mean, thank you, but like, uh, can I can I give you your money back? Do you? Do you like, do you want to see my tits or something? I don't, oh, it's sad. Thank you very much, that was nice. I didn't, I didn't, I did I, 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 I'm literally speechless. Thank you. That was very nice. I'm gonna use it to up my internet speed. Okay, um, um, uh, no, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't really have anything funny around here to do. To uh, here, here. I'll just, I'll just stick out my titties. Hang on. Uh. 
There we go. Does this does this make the stream better? <laughs> now that I have tits, I can't really look. There's Goodbye. there's my cleavage. Ah, uh, look. I'm so hard for your money or something. <laughs> Is it cold in here? Is it just me? Oh my god, we're not done with the game either. Holy shit. What is this? What's going on? What was that? She looks better without her top on. I'm That's very I'm do the rest rest of Look, I look like Lara Croft in the original Tomb Raider. I'm probably also irreversibly ruining this irreplaceable shirt. Uh, you know what? Fuck that. We've still got a rocket. I wonder what's going on. Biohazardous outbreak imminent. The emergency system has been activated. Uh -oh. This train will detonate. Repeat, this train will detonate. <laughs> We're all gonna die! What's wrong? I don't know. The door won't open. This feels really good. Oh shit, I'm, I'm timed. Fuck me. Okay. Here. Serious time. Let's, let's remove my padded pad tits that's okay if I wash it on like uh, uh, words I can't think of if I wash it on oh god it's a tongue oh oh my animes are coming real oh Jesus oh no <laughs> look at this fucking thing it's like the size of a tank and it's just a mouth and eyes it's actually incredibly fucking cool. It's probably one of my favorite stupid um, Resident Evil designs ever. Just because it's just this wall that's like worthless. Like there's no fucking point. Um, so this is... Um, this... Shit. This is the ultimate like Resident Evil just like dump into it until it dies boss. Because it's literally just a wall and you can just, all you can do is stand back here and shoot it with your super pistol and your one rocket round. Look at that. Look at that. And it's dead. I killed it. Now it's turning into black goo. Yeah. That's how we do it in my neighborhood, bitch. Look at that. It's so dead. It actually looks really comfy like that. I kind of want to roll around on it. Like a dog rolling around in horse shit. Let's see, can I go over there? Nope. I've got a minute 24 left, so I better keep running. I better keep on keeping on. Ow, my foot. Damn. It's a hermaphrodile. What is that? Is that like a crocodile? Is that like a... Crankadile or whatever that stupid ass Pokemon is. Oh, oh, just so nipply right now. I'm kidding. kidding. I'm not trying to make this weird. I'm trying to make this really weird. Look at that. Look at that. So this is the actual final cutscene. Um, the first cutscene obviously cut off, but then it shows you all this shit at the end here. And this is the shit they ripped off in the first Resident Evil movie, too. Leon, where are you? I know what a hermaphrodile is! Damn it. Wonderful. It's fun for everyone. Sherry? What are you doing? We have to stop the Their little, little legs going doot, 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 doot. Come it's funny. And get me. I'm right here. That looks so fucking cool, and she's just like, I've got a knife and nothing else. Oh man, the end of this I think is actually right switch. Maybe this one. Little girl antics to save the day. Leon's like, no, you fucking idiot! It's that one. Push the switch over there. Literally, he's like, you're an idiot. It's the one that says stop. Um, I'm not set up for tips yet, so you can't tip me. Please stop giving me money. Please, I mean, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, but. Man. Claire. Claire? Claire! Right here. Claire! Seriously. Enough is enough. No, seriously, though. Thank you. I do appreciate it. I'm not an affiliate, so I'm not set up for tips or anything yet. Um, I, my streams just aren't big enough yet. I don't have enough viewers that I can't become part of the affiliate program at this point. 
boom, 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 boom. Yeah. That was awesome. I actually really like the, the end of this. So, it's finally over. Sherry, you look terrible. No, You're right. You I know. It sucks because I'm basically I'm in, in between semesters now? right now, which is What's why wrong? I'm able to stream daily. But once I get us? back into the semester, you I won't be go. able to as much. We don't have any time to um, waste. Yeah. Go where? Hey, it's up to us to take out Umbrella. Yeah! All right, let's see. Did we glitch it out this time? We did. We did not. It's not playing both audio checks. It's just playing the sick uh, 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 guitar riff. So that was Resident Evil 2. Uh, I I would say that's that's 80% of Resident Evil 2. Um, you, 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 you miss out on about 20% of the content, no matter which which A and B you do, uh, because you do things slightly differently and in slightly different um, orders, uh, depending on who you play first and who you play second. Um, like I said, this is probably my favorite Resident Evil. Um, I really enjoy it. I really enjoyed streaming it. I mean, fuck, it came out in 98. It's almost 20 years old at this point. And, um, uh, yeah. It, it's still a great game. It's st it's still a great fun thing. Oh, tofu! Shit! You gave me money. Oh no, I kind of feel obligated to. Oh, uh, I don't even know if I unlocked it. It'll be based on it'll be based on the uh, the, 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 the 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 ranking I get here. I think. Um, so hopefully I unlock third survivor and scenario tofu or whatever the fuck it's called. I might give that a go. I might give that a go. Also, thank you for the compliment. I appreciate it. I'm happy you're enjoying the strip. Strip, strip, strip. Sound cooperate. Naming contest winner. I wonder I wonder what the naming contest was about. I wonder what they named. I wonder if I can look that up. Let's see. Resident Evil 2 naming contest. Naming contest winner. Does anyone know what this is referenced to? Yeah, let's go through some. Let's see. Um, reinvention. They named the two main characters. No, that's not right. Um, reinvention. According to the, the GameFAQs board I found, they named the main characters, but I don't believe that. Um, win a part in the movie. For Resident Evil 2 on the PlayStation, GameFAQs message board titled, Win a part in the naming contest winner, Kenji Fukiyoshi. Let's see what we got. Hey, we got an A. Maybe we'll actually unlock Third Survivor and shit. Okay, um, who won? When George Romero was still attached to the Resident Evil movie... And if it doesn't say Dual Shock, it doesn't have the Dual Shock. Wait, I won the movie. No, they canceled. Okay, the naming contest thing. Apparently, you could name someone or maybe have a walk-on role in the George Romero Resident Evil movie that they were making. Hey, look at that! We've got a, a infinite ammo machine gun now, which you get in a range mode, anyways. Um. But yeah, when George Romero was attached, they had, um, let's overwrite that. Apparently a contest to be part of it, but then George Romero walked and the contest was canceled. So that Japanese dude won and then America was like, no, fuck you. Oh no. You can play another scenario if you make a new safety. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, I'm going to make this um, a range. What is this? Question marks. Okay, you know what? X battle! Wait, is this an EX battle mode? Or is this um, 
actually HONK! We got fucking HONK! HONK! Did I just go offline? Son of a bitch! Am I still on? Am I still there? Okay, yeah, it says I'm still live. That was weird. Alright, sweet. So we unlocked HONK. I didn't know there was an EX battle mode in that. I'm actually excited to check that out. Like, no bullshit. Alright, let's save HONK. Fuck yeah! Look at that! Yeah! You know what? I might do an extra stream at some point where I check out all the extra stuff. Oh, okay, the Brad thing. Okay. Um, so if you get through the first part of the game, after you beat the game, um, without picking up any ammo, um, you can fight Brad Vickers, the last surviving Stars member. Um, and if you kill him, you get a special key that unlocks outfits. All right, let's see. Did I get Did I get tofu? It's still... Nope. Okay. So, in the arranged game... No, we want to load game. So I can see what we have. I'm not going to do it now. I'll do it another time. We'll check out all the extra stuff. Uh, normal and easy data for... Rookie data for arranged game. Do we have any saves in here? Yeah, we do. We've got the EX battle, which I'm assuming is some kind of battle mode. Um, I will. I will definitely do another stream... Maybe even later tonight, and tack it on um, to the the uh, the the playlist over on the YouTube channel because I'm interested in actually continuing to play this because I'm having a ton of fun. So on that note, that's the end of Resident Evil 2 for now. Um, I want to thank everybody that came out to the stream. I had a blast streaming it for you. I really enjoyed it. Thanks to everybody who followed over the last couple Resident Evil streams. Um, Poseidon Tyrant, thank you for the donation I genuinely don't deserve. Um, that will go towards making the streams better, I swear to Christ. Um, where was I going with that? Um, if you liked what you saw, definitely leave a follow on the channel because there will be more. Uh, this stream will be archived at our YouTube channel, um, which you can get to from a link below your video there. Um, we do full Let's Plays over there as well. Uh, we also do, like, weird one-off comedy videos when I have time to edit them, basically. Um, uh, so if you like that kind of stuff, you should subscribe over there as well. Uh, once again, I'm Jeff. Thank you so much for coming out and streaming and hanging out in my stream. Y you're all awesome, especially you. You, you there. You, you, yes. I'm speaking to you specifically. Look me in the eyes. I'm talking to you. Um, thank you all. I will see you next time.